Good evening, Soulstone. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, I started a little late this evening. I'm glad you can make it. <laughs> Io, thank you for the resubscribe, uh, SarVT. Very unexpected. Four months is crazy. I still can't believe... I still can't believe uh, we're still streaming up to now. I'm not going to jinx it, of course. And also the fact that I met you via Danger U, the board, and you became a VTuber yourself. Times do be a strange end, don't they? You know, I'd love to play Darkest Dungeon tonight on stream, but unfortunately my mods are lewd and I have no interest in removing them, so that will not be something that will be happening this evening. <laughs> Why the fuck are my panels here messed up again? Yeah, go ahead, works, I guess. Been a while since we played Deus Ex. In fact, this doesn't make any sense. According to this, it says here we haven't played Deus Ex since October 2022. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. What's up with that chat? Mods are lewd. Sorry, I'll change. No, you are not changing anything, even boy. I would not change you for the world. It's been a while, indeed. Indeed, it has. I'm still uh, doing the thing where I shill myself, letting everyone know that I'm actually awake and alive. So we will be playing the video shortly. Thankful you're awake and alive, my friend. <laughs> you're too kind, Soulstone. Speaking of Discord, what do you all think of that uh, new change that's coming up with Discord? That whole thing where they're like, uh, for some reason, they're changing the way the username systems work. I think it's kind of annoying, but mostly a non-issue, I guess. We know this is kind of like other apps, but that's the point. New usernames will be easier to remember and share with friends. Uh, I guess I can't really disagree with their logic. Honestly, I mean, all I'm going to do as soon as they ask me to change is uh, make the username the same as all my other usernames and other platforms so it's easier for people to find me, I guess. Uh... The longer you've used Discord, the sooner you can do it. So I guess I have to go check through my old Discord accounts to go update them too. Or I'm assuming they're going to send an email or some shit like that. You know what? Let me switch to just chatting for now. So that... Hi. While I'm uh, busy setting up, so that you all have something to look at instead of just... Uh, listening to a disembodied voice talk. <laughs> it's as if we haven't already um, had to deal with enough disembodied voices, right? Or so I've been told. Uh, I have temporarily forgotten how to adjust my... Ah, shit! I've been slimed! You enjoy my voice? Oh. Well, thank you. It's been a while since anyone told me that. <laughs> Is there anything in particular that you enjoy about? Uh, don't mind me. I'm just trying to burn time while I figure out how to relearn how to use my VTubing programs. Because apparently I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> um, camera. 
Oh shit, not again. Been slimed. Y'all keep sliming me. Oh god. My god. You find it very calming and soothing? Very nice? Could fall asleep to it? No shit. I get that a lot, surprisingly, which I don't understand. You know, when I first became a VTuber, I assumed I would be more Gremlin Energies type, and to be frank, I don't have the energy to do that shit anymore. <laughs> so instead, um, I started getting comments that were the complete opposite. And, well, I'm not going to dissuade people um, from those comments. I'm kind of flattered that people find my voice not grating to listen to, but apparently the exact opposite. Um, but it's still kind of surprising that these are the kind of comments that I have received, so thank you. I appreciate that. Cameras... Right now I'm trying to figure out... Oh, I know what's going on. I was wondering why he keeps sliming me. I know why now. It's a really... It's a really dumb reason for it. There we go. Testing one, two, three. Oh, and another thing I wanted to do. Uh, here in the old, my ancient Just Chang stream, thank you so much for the bits, Femboy. Much appreciated. Um, I needed to fix the VTuber cam. There, so it's now. There we go. This is all that remains of my previous... of my previous, um... All remains of my previous... What should I call it? Uh, layout. Fixed. And now it should be full screen. Yeah. Now it's entirely full screen, so it covers the entire thing. You also enjoy my look and model? Oh my gosh, all the confetti? <laughs> uh, indeed, all the confetti. You think that's wild? Check this shit out. Ow, shit, that hurt. Once again, I have hands. <laughs> these hands. People are gonna catch these hands. Uh, is anyone streaming right now? No one's streaming right now. Let's go to the... Let's go to... Whatchamacallit? Where is the promo... I, I can't, I'm blind, I'm dumb. Here we go. Let me find this in here. Pop here. Gonna post that there. Gonna see if anyone is going here. I'm gonna post it here as well. Where's, where's promo? Where's promo? Where's promo? Artist promo, self promo. Gonna post this here as well and self promo here. I'm gonna post, let the V2 fighting game VTubers know that I'm live and just kind of fucking around and finding out. I'm gonna put this headset on and we'll get to get to going. Oh. Oh my god, did you pinch yourself again? Yeah, Vemboy, I pinch myself every time I put this on. <laughs> every single time without fail. I have to read back in chat too. I haven't, I've only been half paying attention to chat. I also need to get a haircut. I don't know why I put on my headset. There's no sound or music or anything playing right now. So it's kind of a mood point, but... I find it very calming and soothing. Enjoy your voice. Determined to be as kind as possible and I ain't sure why the change is happening. They are trying to get on Musk's good side. Wait. And move from the actual Blizz naming? <sighs> Dude, I hope Discord isn't bought by X Corp. Not that there's any reason to believe that they would. But wouldn't that be a nightmare mode? 
Honestly, I've been thinking about setting up a various alternative communication platforms for us anyway to move away from Discord, including an IRC and a uh, Fediverse instance. Fediverse instance would probably be the last thing we need to do, but uh, an IRC should be fairly straightforward to do. I just want to make sure that we have control of all the stuff so that uh, we don't need to worry about anyone shutting us down, except ourselves, of course. You heard the click, maximum pinching, put your finger between the clip and neck, re, cancel Discord and bring Dolby Axon back. What's Dolby Axon? Do, do, do. In before a mod, Twitch mod comes here and it's like, why you no use just chatting category, re? Uh, Dolby Axon was a surround sound VOIP? Oh. Uh, Jeanette, don't some computers come loaded with that by default already? I wonder, I don't have Dolby X on myself since I'm assuming it costs money, but... I'm using the, um... I'm using Windows Sonic. Nope, they cancelled. They are competing with TeamSpeak. Bruh, this must be ancient then. I wonder if anyone even still uses TeamSpeak up to now. I mean, I know people still use mum Mumble. And Ventrilo. I mean, what is Discord but basically just an inter just an IRC server with voice chat features, right? And a UI that allows you to look at visual to actually look at uh, images. All online players use Teamspeak. Oh, all Eve online players use Teamspeak. You know, that's very fair. All right then, uh, let's go ahead and get started, Chad. We are, of course, continuing our playthrough of Deus Ex Human Revolution. We, were play we had just finished the DLC, The Missing Link, a couple streams ago, and now we're finally getting back to the game, actual game itself. Game is 20 years old. They also use Pinjin. Game is 20 years old yesterday. I don't even know what Pinjin is, to be honest. That's probably before my time, even. So they are using the same old systems. Pinjin's like pre-MSN. <laughs> Fuck me, that is old. I do remember something called like, uh... I do remember having an old IM called, like, Pigeon or something? Pigeon? P-I-D-G-I-N? At one point? MSN Manager is close of Pigeon? I see, I see. Maybe you're misspelling it? Uh, Pigeon was... an old messenger that, um, had some early, early... The main reason I remember using Pigeon was because it was encrypted. I had a friend back in college who was fairly paranoid, even compared to myself, and they insisted that I install Pigeon and installed some end-to-end uh, -end encryption add-ons to it. That's how I remember Pigeon. He politics are insane. <laughs> Indeed. Because they live in a society where they probably do uh, often attempts to and sometimes succeed at hacking each other oh yeah where are we It's wild going from the Missing Link back to the original Deus Ex because the Missing Link had a lot of uh, graphical updates that were superior to the original Deus Ex Human Revolution at the time. Also, it didn't, they got rid of the yellow filter in uh, Human Revolution, obviously. Or Going to go ahead and increase the volume of too. That's not what I wanted to do.
I didn't even know we could do that. Let's see what uh, items they got here. <laughs> I got all my good shit, too. Sadly, because that game was not integrated yet, I don't get to keep the revolver and all that good stuff. But I do get to keep the laser, laser rifle that I got last time. For when you absolutely, positively, 100% want to make sure someone is dead. And of course the hacking minigame, that never gets old. Look at all these stop where all these uh, nuke viruses I got. I could pretty much just cheese the rest of these hacking minigames for the rest of the game. Because why bother playing it when I can just spam these? Eh. I don't mind the hacking minigame anyway. Oh. Well, chat, that is certainly not good. Wait, uh... And I just found a reason to save my viruses, my nuke viruses. When you have bullshit like this, level 6? I have never seen level 6 hacking. Or never, never seen level 6 before. That's crazy. To be fair, I've never gone this far in the game before, so maybe there are even harder difficult hacking difficulties, you know? Now, what was the purpose of accessing the storeroom? Ooh! <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do. When am I going to combine this with? The laser rifle. Pog. <laughs> uh. I guess we should do our best to... In order to maximize experience gain, we should probably not try to kill people unless we absolutely need to. I'm already done so well for myself that I am getting close to augment to uh, augmenting everything. We just got raided by Milliard VT. Welcome once again to the Lost Time Show, and thank you for the raid, Millie. How are you doing tonight, Venboy? Can you please be a dear and shout out Milliard VT for us? Welcome, 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 welcome. We are playing Deus Ex tonight, which is fairly on brand. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am a shitposter AI in Cyberpunk, if you couldn't tell. Uh, if that was not obvious enough for you, we did start streaming a little later this evening, but later is better than ever, right? Doing all right. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Today was an okay day. Nothing too eventful happened, which is probably better than can be said for most people. I am not complaining. I'm just bullshitting. <laughs> uh, what were you up to? What did you play? Honkai Star Rail, huh? How's that going for you? Is it basically just uh, Genshin Impact except science fiction or something? You're honking some Honkais, huh? Oh, I bet you were honking those Honkais. <clears throat> Did you have fun? Um, did you enjoy yourself? Thank you for the bits. You need to ooh ooh. Ooh 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 ooh. By all means, ooh ooh as you please. <laughs> uh... We should say hold on to our Praxis kits for a little bit longer. Is that the only reason to enter this room to, uh, oh, a revolver? Okay, some more ammunition. Anything behind here? No? Very well. You're stuck inside Quest Hall right now? Oh, that's never good. 
How's the grinding? Money? Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> Thank you so much for the money. Lately, I've been a good bean and I've been spending my money on content. For example, I picked up a couple of new uh, really cute, uh, for lack of better terminology, gun plaws to build on stream. I know I did that at least once and some of y'all seem to enjoy that. So I will be having some meat space streams in the near future where I will convince my human host to build us some cute dolls live on camera. So look forward to that in the future, I suppose. Why do I know so many women who hate mecha stuff? I don't get it. Um, you know, I guess I think, is that kind of a stereotype? There are a lot of stereotypes that are starting to break down, so I don't even bother mentioning them anymore because most of them are outdated by the time that I mention them. Mecha anime just being one of the many things that people used to hate if you're the opposite sex, or at least the stereotype goes. But now I know plenty of women who greatly enjoy, if not Gundam Wing, then many of its other adjacent titles. There's actually a lot of people who love the current Gundam Wing for the fact, if, well if only for the fact that it has a really cute lesbian couple in it. Which to be fair is probably a first for Gundam Wing I believe. I don't think there was ever a previous Gundam game that had uh, lesbian tension, but there has been plenty of homoerotic tension of a masculine kind in the Gundam series. Is Japan pro or anti-LGBT? Japan simply is. I do know that, um... Yeah, I honestly don't know how to answer that question. Um, Japan is kind of, is certainly a thing, it's just certainly a thing of all time, I suppose. <laughs> because even in the old days, I mean, shit, if you think back to really old stuff, like, uh, like some of the old magical girl anime, there was blatant homosexuality. It wasn't like, expl it wasn't necessarily explicit. I mean, there was plenty of Dojin, the explicit homoerotic Dojin, obviously, but there's plenty of uh, wholesome doujins that and ho wholesome manga and anime that had homosexual undertones, and they were very popular. The first of which that comes to mind being Card Capture Sakura. Uh, Clamp did not hide the fact they loved their gay pairings. They love, love, just outright loved their gay pairings, and they did very well for themselves. And no one tried to suppress any of their works, now did they? My understanding is that the younger citizens are okay with LGBT, or at least a portion of them. Most likely. Or at least, um, I believe it was the millennial generation, more or less, that really started being really okay with homosexuality. Um, I'm pretty sure, I guess Generation X was also, uh, starting to turn in that direction as well, right? I just remember being a kid. And even though I had not come out myself at the time, um, I distinctly remember reading and being, and it was very clear cut that characters like Tomoyo really loved Sakura. And then you had all, and you had the fact that Sakura's older brother was in, if not a relationship with his best friend, then it was starting to turn that way. And then you had other characters that were even more um, explicit in I, I, the person I'm in love with is the same sex. And so it's like, this is a, this was a fairly mainstream show and also manga at the time. It's not hiding the fact that it's very pro LGBT themes. So it makes you wonder like, was Japan, how did Japan actually feel about this sort of thing? And to be fair, um, otaku stuff, anime stuff, manga stuff was still fairly niche even for the Japanese back then. So maybe it was just tolerated because it was a niche group of people who would enjoy this content anyway. But you never know. Or at least a portion of them? Yeah, that seems to be the correct demographic to me. Most of Japan is boomer, so yeah, I get what you mean. So I really don't know... At the very least, 
Nah, I'm just going to stop there. I honestly don't know enough about Japanese historical culture to make an educated guess, even. If we were going... If you were to just show someone all the anime and manga from back then, they would assume, and they would rightfully... They would assume, understandably so, that Japan as a culture was okay with it. I mean, some people would probably assume that about Filipino culture, too, just because we have... So we're, or we've had and continue to have so many celebrities who um, come out even before it became a very societally, worldly accepted thing to do. Did they say Darrow? As in Hugh Darrow? What did he mean by this, chat? What did he mean by this? Jenkins! This is the last time I'm going to send you the code for your barracks dormitory. I don't care if you have to carry this around in a pox sec or if you plaster it backwards across your own damn face. So you have to look at it every time you see yourself in a mirror. Remember the damn code. 3085-1385. You know... I thought it was just a DLC during this, but... The more you play this game, the more you start to really question Bell Tower's ability to do anything right. These are supposed to be a professional outfit of paramilitary super soldiers, right? And they just can do so much dumb shit. And yes, I know, it's a gameplay contrivance, but still. Oh, who am I kidding? Every professional corporation in the world will do their utmost best to give off the air of professionalism. But at the end of the day... They are still humans. Super soldiers get bets, get bored too. That's also very true. I mean, even Master Chief wasn't like particularly... Was not perfect, so... I can't hold any more f f f combat rifle ammo. I am sad. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do. Professionalism is a scam? How so? Sniping's a good job, mate. It's challenging work, it's outdoors. I can guarantee you won't go hungry. Because at the end of the day, as long as there's more than two people on the planet, someone is gonna want someone dead. So be polite. Be professional. And have a plan to kill everyone you meet. Feelings? You wanna talk to me about feelings? Feelings is the bloke that bludgeons his wife to death with a golf golf trophy. Professionals have standards. I'd rather deal with someone who is real than someone who's being professional. That is fair, if only for the fact that someone who is pretending who is putting on a huge air professionality probably has something to hide or is overcompensating. Like me. I'll override your jammer, Io. 
No, wait, I did it wrong. It should be, I'll ride your jammer. Sun Tzu said that. And he perfected it in the Ring of Honor. Alright, so, uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, this name of this map is Omega Ranch, chat. Ram Ranch! Ah, I see. He got it down, Pat. Then uses fight money to buy two of every animal on Earth, and then he herded them onto a boat, and then he beat the crap out of every single one. Oh, what the fuck? Bullshit, you did not just see me. What the fuck? That's garbage. I refuse to accept this. We are reloading. Uh, so I'm going to make a counter of how often, how many times Lawler is going to reload over the course of tonight's gameplay. Because it's probably going to be over 10. I love games like this, but sometimes games like this encourage me to be a perfectionist to an annoying degree. To a point where I don't even make any progress. Look at this super soldier looking motherfucker. Oh, what the shit? Yeah, this is why I need to stealth this mission because these cloaky boys give me cancer. I'm not combat specs right now, so fighting this game, trying to play this game as a traditional FPS will be a pain in the ass. Uh, which is what we found out last game too, where if you try to play this game... As a pure combat spec, you don't have the combat abilities. You're shit out of luck, chat. I miss Rick me too. TF2 had the best... just everything. I should play TF2 more often on stream. The last time we played on stream, it had optimization issues at the asshole. But with my heavily mod my heavily upgraded computer... or PC, this should be a little bit easier. I imagine. Who goes there? Ayo? Blunt through it. Uh... Yeah... Please, please fuck right off. Um... Anyway. Where was I talking about? Thank you, Vamboy. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, you banned them, right? Those zoomer-ass movement shooter kids don't know about the intricacies of TF2 movement. Uh, movement. What do you mean by movement shooter? I'm assuming you're not talking about uh, Qua are you not talking about arena shooters, since TF2 itself was a arena shooter at one point. Oh, Warzone? Oh, you mean like a uh, Battle Royale, basically? Oh, no fucking way! Did you see that? It said headshots would not instantly kill people with helmets on. I haven't seen many FPS games like that. The last time I saw an FPS game like that was Metro, where I tried to kill someone 
with a knife to the head and then stop jaw, my jaw drop. And I stood shock still as I watched the dagger bounce off his helmet. Then the guard just sort of looked at me and then he emptied his mag into my face. And I was like, what the fuck? There was a version of Counter-Strike that had helmets? I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. Oh yeah, that big motherfucker there is gonna be a pain in the ass. I won't be able to trank him, and I won't be able to just headshot him. They think slide cancelling is the end all be all, but if you open up TF2 and see what Rocket Jump can do, it's leagues above any other game with movement mechanics. Oh, for, for, for sure. For one thing, you actually need to practice rocket jumping. You don't have to practice pushing the control button. <laughs> But the movement I miss is from Dirty Bomb, which had a parkour system that, we could, that involved jumping, bouncing off walls. And you could use it, it had multiple uses. You used it pretty much to do shit like escaping enemy fire, getting, getting, some, getting to upper levels in a lot quicker manner, and traversing your environment much, much quicker than you would normally. Oh shit. I don't have any candies. I will not be able to take this guy out. Oh wait. You no, know, I don't have any Sarabu's Pro Energy Bar. Alright. Unreal Tournament 2005 fight you. Okay, no link gun. <laughs> or the lightning gun for that matter. I love the lightning gun in that game. And Titanfall 2 gets ignored too. I think Titanfall 2 got gets ignored for a lot of other a, lot, a whole host of other reasons. Um you know, like all the drama surrounding its publisher and shit. Grapple with the Kraber. <laughs> It reminds me of an early version of Dirty Bomb, where what some people used to do was they would do they would do a parkour jump off a wall. They would spin, like do a legit 180 no scope or 180 scope spin, and then quick scope someone. It was really hard to deal with, but very few people could actually pull it off because it required a lot of practice. Sadly, it got nerfed because of too many people bitching about snipers dominating the shit of early day Dirty Bomb. So then they changed it to where anytime you jumped and tried to shoot, your scope would go wonky. However, people still managed to perform trick shots that way anyway, so they changed it to anytime you jumped and tried to fire, your shot would go in a random direction. Sounds like bad kids were unskilled and bitching. Well, I mean, that's true of pretty much every competitive, of every competitive FPS. For some reason, we don't see this shit in the fighting game community. That's totally not me just throwing shade at a different kind of <laughs> competitive game. <laughs> what other game than, other than TF2 can you jump through the air and one-shot someone with a shovel? Uh, Dirty Bomb. You're not going to one-shot someone, You could, but if you heavy slash someone with a knife at just the right... At, with, the, uh, with the stiletto ju at just the right time and they're a, one of the lighter characters, you'll do enough damage to insta-kill them. There's some people who used to play Aura for just this reason. They would play her as a ninja. She was the fat. She had the shortest, 
height, the fastest move speed, and also the uh, least health, along with sparks. So people would play her with just a knife sometimes and just fuck with people and just bounce around stabbing the shit out of them. You can't nerf player's skill no matter how you try. No, but you can do a 50-50 a a win rate and call that bounce. Because the meta to making money is to not let the player be too happy or too sad so that they always feel an incentive to buy shit in your microtransaction store. Can you let me pull the fucking corpse game? Wait, you can see me? What the shit? Come on, game. Say I gotta run, but I gotta get up tomorrow for work. It was a pleasure being here to hang for it. Have a great rest of the stream and meeting, my friend. Oh, thank you for stopping by, Soulstone. I hope you have a great day at work tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> you want to make another video just saying there will never be another video game character like The Spy? That's very true, though. The Spy is such a unique character for an FPS game. I can't even play Spy correctly. I, ne I can never wrap my head around Spy, to be honest. They're... Certainly a character of all time. Oh. <laughs> you used to play Spy? No shit. Because I'm a backstepper and a heartbreaker, are you going to heartbreak me? I'll just set you on fire. Because I'm a pyro main. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spy check you. I don't I don't have a funny joke, that was my joke. The narrative in TF2 community around TF2 Sniper being op only comes from people being bad. TF2 Sniper is not even op. If anything, I think he's one of the more balanced sniper type characters in any FPS game. If anything, Pyro is op, and I say that as a Pyro main. Even after the, his various nerfs, nothing is really stopping me from just setting everyone on fire and calling that gameplay. Not to mention he's got the fucking uh, alt, att alt attack, which uh, sets pe which either blows people away, uh, destroy, fucking sends rockets flying, and also causes him to or saves him from taking fall damage by shooting at the ground, and also removes people's flame status, unless any of this stuff has been nerfed since the last time I played. Who needs bullets when you have a fucking flamethrower? Sniper throws jars of piss at you, that's true. Yeah, I used to use the back burner back when the back burner did like 15% additional damage in addition in addition to its uh back to its uh multi to its uh minor crits. But in return, you couldn't use the um air blast function. I have an even higher backstab crit than you do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just use bullets for a head. <laughs> Imagine using bullets.
Fuck your helmet. Hey villain! It is time for lost time. We are quite late this evening, but never fear, we have made it anyway. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for the head pad as well. As usual, I'm just being bad. Uh, do, am I playing this on the highest difficulty? Good. I actually forgot that I was playing this on higher to, uh, highest difficulty. <laughs> I'll give you a prominent human enhancement, Eliza. Access granted. Lead skills. Final Fantasy 27. You know, this is funny in retrospect, considering this game takes place in 2027. And according to this poster, they're up to Final Fantasy 27. Meanwhile, we're currently up to Final Fantasy uh, 16 right now, I guess? You're feeling fine because it's lost time and I'm heading to Dreamland? I'll take you to a Dreamland. Anyway, uh, how's everyone? Um, I'm alright. We're having a pleasant evening so far. All things considered. And you? Is there anything... I don't have the stun gun with me, so I can't make use of that stuff anyway. I don't think there's anything else here. A Mahjong set? Was he winning? Uh, three, three, three. You know, uh, this guy actually might have been fairly close to winning Mahjong. You just need... Let's see now... I forgot what it's called, but it's the one where you have two, a two of a kind, in addition to these. What about the other person here? Oh, uh, never mind, I guess he wasn't playing against anyone. Hmm. Typhoon ammo, don't need that. I need to get myself a set of barbells. Some credits. In the future, everyone will be a weeb. A reload speed upgrade. I'm putting everything into the laser rifle because I'm going to be holding this gun until the re until pretty much the end of the game. So I can use it to fuck over the bosses since the bosses are the worst part of this game, <laughs> honestly. Going to hold on to that and probably also the grenade launcher.
based. The game knows what I like. Anything of use over here? It looks like our destination is not in this immediate area. We might have to continue elsewhere. Because normally... It would show me... The routing of where I need to go next. And it is not, so... I will literally just have to skulk around until I find where I need to go. It's kind of fucked that there are some enemies in here that I can't effectively stealth around, like that big boy over there. You can't silent take down his ass, you need to kill him. And these helmeted troopers piss me off too, because I can't just shoot them in the head and call it a day. And it takes them forever to fall down from trank rifle from trank bullets. So that's another problem. Did you know sometimes the NPCs will notice an open door and get suspicious? So that's also a thing in this game. If I'm careful enough, I could probably get out of that guy's line of sight and silent take down this dude by this mook by sneaking up behind him. Go to sleep. <laughs> uh, 50 XP as opposed to 10 sounds pretty good, I would say, huh? Yes, that's right, chap. Me taking down these guys, these mooks, mercifully, is actually is less a matter of... It's less a matter of, um... Wanting to be merciful and more a matter of practicality. We're gonna wait for our energy bar to reload to repower up before we consume some candy and we can pick up our tranquilizer darts back up. Kind of looks like rain, doesn't it? I want to check on something really quick, though. Living in the future where all these... Where I can literally max out each and every one of these options... I guess I don't really need V-Sync though, do I? Eh, I don't need V-Sync. I didn't know that this game filter thing here as part of the video was even here. Image sharpening. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of little hidden features in the computer that I've not yet figured out how to use. Call me controversial, but you're a pro eyelisting. <laughs> Yo. You are certainly a most controversial figure, Steel. I'm contacting the Glowies as we speak. Oh, I do. Shit, yeah, I forgot to turn it off. Thank you for reminding me. That's embarrassing. 
Uh, what is a VTuber but one that does not have incredible amounts of scuff doing basic human tasks? I just realized I only have one Trank Bullet left. Good luck catching me. After all your anti-Elias rhetoric, you'll never find me behind all my Eliases. Oh, really? Why? Do you have over 70 alternate accounts? Anyway. Hacker voice. We're in. You know, I just also realized... I think that the uh, maps in Deus Ex Human Revolution would make great maps in VR chat. I should like commission someone to make them or something to uh, port them over or something. Viral coolants? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Are they implying that the CDC is actually a governed bioweapons department? <laughs> I know that Deus Ex is about conspiracy theories and shit, but this is the first I've heard of the conspiracy theory that RCD, that the Center of Disease Control was actually... I, actually, a bioweapon testing facility. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the United States enemies would have used such similar propaganda, but... I'm sure at least what the club in Hong Kong exists. It's not. I know, right? I mean, I won't tell if you don't. Working as intended, maybe? Oh god, oh fuck. I'm surprised that... Maybe it was glitched? Oh. Where are we now, chat? Okay. Wait, what the fuck? Wow, you're a great shot, buddy.
This is gonna take some getting used to. For real, for real. Okay, so it's not breaking now. I suppose it really was just pro being problematic. There's this whole section over here I can get across the room to go to as well. But I don't know if that's where the tower would be. This meanwhile is some sort of clinic or office. Oh, maybe the reason why there's no radar is because of the GPL jammer. So I presume that if I were to disable the signal jammer, everything would work again and maybe the game would be easier. If I were a signal jammer chat, where would it be? Up there? Bingo! I see it. I think that's what the signal jammer is supposed to be. That big Disney looking motherfucker. And of course I've alerted the guards because of my fat ass. I'm kidding. I don't have a fat ass. Didn't I already? God damn it. Okay. Anyway, chat, we're going to make our way back. We're going to try and take out that, uh,. That, um, whatchamacallit, that signal jamming gobbledygook. Making our way. Oh, what the fuck? Booms? Was that? Oh, you tricky bastard! Well, and then you know what? I just realized that definitely got, has to be the signal jammer because not only is there a glowy thing up there, but there's also a bunch of laser wire lasers keeping refusing entry. Yes, this will be very fun, chat. I forgot to check out this room to begin with. However, it seems like someone's getting a little too curious for their own good. Maybe not. It's probably a good thing I went back. Man, you should hear some of the crazy rumors about this place. I was down near Katong pa Plaza in the city during my leave last weekend, checking in on my kids back home at some internet cafe. Anyway, there are these two locals behind me talking about the ranch. 
here going on about that whole Versalive who bird flu outbreak that wiped out half the country a few years ago or something. Anyway, all of a sudden they started whispering, saying it was all part of some crazy conspiracy theory by the government to test some new biological warfare weapon. They think they think it even has something to do with that whole SARS thing 20 years ago. Apparently the ranch is actually owned by the Chinese and this is all part of some crazy population control scheme. There's even websites devoted to the crap. <laughs> it's like we're in the new Area 51 or something. Yeah, man. Toad's funny. Io? Well, that was easy. What the hell? I thought we would have to actually hack the signal jammer itself, but no. That's funny. Access grant. You must have done something, Jensen. Four of our GPL signals just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm not picking up Dr. Reed. Send me the coordinates you do have. And Pritchard, tell Sarif. I can't. While you were incommunicado, Mr. Darrow invited him, Bill Taggart, and the UN delegates to Panchea. They're halfway to the Arctic by now. Great. Oh, really? Mr. Darrow, huh? The plot thickens. Time is a flat circle. You're flat. I don't know why I said that. Forget I said anything. Man, we got really lucky this one. This is actually one of the easiest uh, hacking jobs I've done in a while. What have we got in here? Remote explosive devices. That's going to be useful. Heavy rifle ammo. The peps gun. Rockets. And a damage upgrade. Is there a rocket launcher in this level somewhere? This one, the revolver is almost close to being maxed out, it looks like. Gun nuts achievement unlocked. Very pog. I want to take the peps with me, but I can't hold the peps and the trank rifle at the same time. It's either one or the other. The peps is great. But it's loud. But it's also kind of overpowered. Honestly. The Trank Rifle, meanwhile, is soft. But it's fairly garbage. The remote detonated explosive devices are really good too. But I'll need to drop some stuff to bring that with me. I need to keep the imp grenade because the imp grenade is kind of dumb. I love how even when I maxed out my inventory, I can't actually just hobo carry everything. You So you still need to think about how you do your inventory management. Or suffer the consequences. I suppose I can always come back here later if I really need this stuff. I'm going to run out of Trank ammunition very soon anyway.
I'll transmit my inorganic tissue into your neural impulse. Okay, so according to the radar system, one person's downstairs and I'll have to go through all that bullshit anyway to go see, to go just talk with them. The rest are upstairs, one's on this floor over there and the other building and the one's over there. So, whether we like it or not, we would have to be entering this area anyway. Getting over there is going to be a bitch and a half with all these men running around. But at least I was able to take out some of their camera systems. I think whether I like it or not, I will have to trank the shit out of these people anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do about the big, the big guy though. It is going to be a problem and a half. I wonder if it, he can be tranked and if it'll just take a while. I'll take out the small fry first. Generally, when it comes to firefights and to fighting multiple opponents, you want to take out the weakest people first before they gang up on you. If you try to go after the big guy first and you fail, well, you're kind of shit out of luck, aren't you? Because not only will the big guy step on your face, but you're going to get beat on by all of his friends as well. That was way too smooth. Honestly. I guess I can't complain though. Did he even feel getting tranks just now? I'm really curious to see if he'll actually like fall down and shit. Oh my god, it does work. What the hell? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Well, so much for that idea, chat. I guess it doesn't work after all. Uh, that annoys the fuck out of me. So it does work. You can, in fact, trank the big guy down. But I wasn't able to trank the small guy quickly enough before he was able to revive the other one. Could be worse, I guess. I like how, I'm glad that the uh, turrets don't any, notice anything amiss with the soldiers just randomly collapsing from trank poisoning. Oh. Ha! Ha ha! Ah, eat shit and go to sleep. I can't even say eat shit and die because you are going to probably be one of the few people that even survives my reign of terror. Can I trank this guy through the wall? I probably can't. No, 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 no one, no, no sir, no, no.
That wasn't so bad. Honestly. <laughs> out of track ammunition though so it might be time to head back to that uh, storage room we found from earlier so why did I enter this room again why am I here Ooh. Use universal signal jam. Okay, so there's just more than one way to shut down the jammer. Okay, that, that makes sense. I didn't even need to go in this direction. I feel like I've had this Trank Rifle since the beginning of the game, and I probably have. Honestly. But for now, there's no reason to keep it. I can't replace any of the bullets. I chose not to get the ocular upgrades because I read that apparently choose you can choose you actually have the choice of whether or not you want to do that and it does actually change the story a little bit. So that's kind of cool. I appreciate that they added something like that in. Old DSX was like that too actually. All things considered. It's going to be kind of awkward having only one non-lethal weapon, and it's a very loud non-lethal weapon. So I'll have to take everyone out using my bare hands again. Hey, it even says who in there. Huh. Would have thought. Uh, we finished the DLC, Missing Link. We didn't finish the game itself. Which is why we're playing it again. Well, it was more continuation more than anything else. Greetings, warrior personnel. I am writing you for the second time this week in the hopes of receiving the requested equipment I outlined in my previous correspondence. As an as an uh, as uh, an as of yet unidentified saboteur is compromising the integrity of my workstation with his or her blatant disregard for morality and common decency. In what is quickly becoming a recurring event, I have returned to my computer only to find it defiled with pornographic images. These images, depicting humans engaged in gross acts of unnatural copulation with farm animals, is both an affront to my senses and an insult to the time-honored traditions of the agricultural industry, not to mention respectable human animal husbandry practices. I ask only that you supply me with access to at least one, one, device for, electrical, for electronic motion picture acquisition, ideally with both normal and low-light recording capabilities, so that I may catch this purveyor of juvenile delinquency in the act. Your humble charge, Drain Crosby. 
That's so random. You could tell someone had fun writing that. And I found another peps pack. Let me guess. It was one of the Nigerian spam mails, wasn't it? Ha. Regardless, here's my new password. Morpheus. Io, Morpheus. So, fun fact. At work, we have something called... A we have to take a test where we learn about compliance. And one of the questions that I was asked on the test that we took afterwards was you overhear a supervisor telling a new hire their username and password so that you can get started working immediately. Do you report this to do you report this to your compliance officer? The answer is yes, you're supposed to, because only one person is supposed to be able to have access to information and to give that out. And the reason why they make it so that there's only one officer that's in charge of everyone's passwords and usernames is to hopefully reduce the possibility of people's passwords and usernames being leaked to the wrong people. Also, if in the rare event that something like that does happen, they're just going to blame one person and it's going to be the compliance officer. So, the, in this game, we've had all manner of people that just happen to have access to usernames and passwords and they're just leaving their workstations unlocked and they're just leaving them on pocket secretaries and all this bullshit and this game and these little things while they seem ridiculous are actually a very common occurrence in the meat space world people really are this careless with their personal information how do you think i managed to hack the host's computer well to be fair they had other entry points. They're not that stupid. Or are they? The world may never know. I wonder if this water is spoiled. Oh, well, it's getting kind of musty. Oh man, that starting tastes kind of funny. It'll probably be okay. Maybe. 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 Maybe, maybe, maybe. Did I just do that in front of the guy? Oh my god, he is fucking stupid, isn't he? I can't believe I just did that in front of the dude and he didn't notice. Maybe he looked away for a second. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes, man. Well, 
it's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with those people anyway. So, you know, whatever. But. I know the Peps gun is loud, but I wonder how loud it is. Do you think if I used it on this dude, that it would, um, alert the premises, or... Oh wait, no, there's another guy that's over there behind the wall. So it's probably not a good idea. It's probably better if I just go around him. Yeah. Sometimes the best thing to do is simply not to fight, after all. One over here. I'm gonna go through there in a bit. An Asian girl, subject 521. Sorry to say it looks like an epic fail. <laughs> an epic fail? Holy shit, this game is dating itself. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Omega Ranch Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grants for immediate termination. If you feel that you've been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe, work smart, your future depends on it. Yeah, well, no shit, Sherlock. I don't want to get radiation poisoning. Alex Jones talking in the background. He hasn't been deplatformed in this universe. Yeah, man. Just follow the money. Stun gun. This could be proving use. This could prove useful if I choose to bring it with me. I'm sad that this game doesn't let me just eat the food that just happens to be there. But at least we can do this. Eat all of the power Cyberboost power bars, chat. If this were the original Deus Ex, I would just be able to eat all, drink all these cans of soda as well. In order to get down there, we have to go down a fucking elevator. Oh, that's... I don't like the looks of that chat. The stun gun is a legit gun in its own right. But downstairs, I might be able to get away with using the peps. Since it is downstairs, I can only presume as long as no one hits the alarm, you should be able to use that just fine. No one's going to hear it. Before we head downstairs though, I want to check out a few more rooms. We do a little... Breaking and entering.
Access granted. Oh man, someone's getting chewed out by a supervisor. An immense competition? God, the writers really had fun with this level. Concerning chairs, we are aware of the shortage of lab supplies, in particular chairs and stools. We have a new shipment coming in soon, and we'll keep you all updated. In the meantime, please refrain from using expensive lab equipment as a makeshift sh sitting apparatus. If you must insist on using a non-sanctioned sitting apparatus, please consider the tensile strength of materials present in the object in question, in comparison to your own, volu own mass volumetric density. In other words, stop breaking shit with your fat asses! XOXO, the management. Wow. I love it. You love to see it. Access grant. Come on, don't tell me you don't know who it is already. I mean, who really owns this place? Everyone knows who Dara bought it through subsidiaries back in 2021. You just need to know where to look and whom to ask. There are lots of things here that are quite interesting. I mean, look at the research you're doing. Look at this place. Yeah, right. I've heard that one before. And it's all part of a shadowy conspiracy to manipulate and control the scientific world. What am I saying? The world. Period. You should do a sarcasm here, by the way. To whomever felt it was necessary to change my screensaver and desktop background to something involving pornographic farm animals for the third time this week... Very mature. I will have you all know I am now installing tracking software on my computer and have asked security to place a hidden camera somewhere inside the lab. I will be reporting the next person that decides to compromise the integrity of my workstation with these disgusting images. You have been warned. P.S. I'm still waiting for the return of my stapler. I know you have a j- <laughs> Wow. Wait. Is Dwayne Crosby supposed to be a, re a reference to Dwight from The Office? 
It must be. They sure talk the same anyway. Fuck that photocopier in particular. I wonder what's upstairs, actually. Oh! Hoo. So, it connects to this side, too. Okay, that's good to know. We'll go downstairs first, then. Now, this is a really complicated uh, system to hack, as well. Probably the most complicated one yet. Can't even hack that one. This one would have been hard if I didn't have all my maxed out skills already. Access granted. Getting fairly close to my new Praxis kit as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Shit is this, man. And they look like they're in pain, chap. I don't have a good feeling about this. I mean, I guess they're alive, right? Which is more that can be said for a lot of things. What even is living, anyway? Am I right? Hey, Declan. You're still alive after all this. Who'd have thought? Hey, Aislinn. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Doctor. <laughs> I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Doctor Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. 
We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from- Yeah, that's spooky as shit. What about Dr. Reed? Her GPL signal isn't broadcasting. Do you know where she is? In the secured zone. You'll never get in there. Too many guards. <laughs> Distraction might encourage them to leave the area. Say, an incident in one of the labs. Oh, a bold plan, my boy. But one small incident would never be enough. No, you're right. But three simultaneous accidents might. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get Nia and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur mm -hmm. at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. And there's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I thought as much. But we have no choice. There may be something. Vasily wanted to upload a virus onto their security network. Disable their GPL protocols. Eric or Nia might know more about it. Let's do it. You took a little nap? You do a little sleeping? Well, thank you so much for coming back with us. <laughs> it's a very chill evening. I'm glad that the plot of this game is finally moving forward and the environments are a lot more detailed than the same drab old generic secured military base type shit. Have you seen Nia Colvin lately? I haven't found her yet. They've done a good job keeping us all separated, but I suspect she'll be in the microgen building. There's a skywalk connecting the two buildings. If you can find it, you won't have to go back outside. Yeah, I saw that upstairs. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. 90 degrees, damn. But what kind of threats it's actually been pretty cold over here. Which is weird because it's been fairly hot uh, in the past few years. The silly saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time, time to teach these wankers a lesson. So I'm ha kind of happy that it's been nice and cool for our summer. Usually it's blazing hot by now. I'm still looking for Dr. Koss. I don't suppose you could point me in the right direction. I lost track of who Subjenko was, so I had to check the wiki. Project reports telling me they've got him locked inside a lab on the third floor of the Microgen building. I suspect, though, they'll have cameras and other security devices protecting it. You'll have to be on your guard, son. Gotcha. Just be ready. When you feel your GPL vibrate, set off that distraction. 
Understood, lad. But do be careful. Hog. Oh, we got another Praxis point. Cool. Now we could finally buy some shit. Thing is, what can we purchase here that would aid us with the rest of this mission? Can we reduce the energy consumption of our cloaking device? I think this is kind of silly. Don't really need the analyzer either. That's kind of a waste of money. Don't barely use the fortify. And I'd never really use this and either this to be honest, although that could have been helpful in a couple of cases. I don't really need that either. Honestly, at this point in the game, I probably don't really need to buy any of those things. I could just spend I could Theoretically, just spend them here on making it easier to aim at people. I guess we'll decide later. Eventually, we're going to reach the point where we have more practice kits than we need to know what to do with. So I could just use it to buy what's left. And leave it at that. Did I get the add-on which allows me to see through walls already? So I could have sworn there was an augment like that, which straight up just lets you see through walls. There it is, smart vision. Damn it. Declan, my friend. You were right about the GPL implants. These bastards are using them to keep track of us, and they'll continue to do so unless we can shut down their tracking equipment, tracking and jamming protocols. Fill up to another Angina attack, because we need to discuss this in person. Huh? Megan Reed? I know you're nervous, Declan, and to be honest, I am too. But the goddess work centered on the use of electrical signals to evoke emotional responses in the brain. He is targeting the, uh, the Amygdala and Hippocampus. H assures me that we are not doing that, and I trust him, for reasons I'll explain when I can. Until then, please, don't risk yourself by sending me emails like this one. Stick to research questions only, because you're right, I'm sure they are monitoring every word we type. I'm really getting worried about the signal pattern they got me working on. It's, if it's truly meant to transmit software updates to limb patients, why do they want it to broadcast wire band across multiple frequencies simultaneously, and what exactly is it going to transmit? I know these wankers are probably monitoring every email I send to you, but I can't ignore my gut. For some reason, I'm reminded of the goddess work with electrical stimulation in the brain. Am I wrong to think there's a connection? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. It's a good thing we didn't get our eye upgrade, after all. A lot of corpses here. 
Nothing of value up there. Can't pick this up. <sighs> Looks like this is a fairly secure facility. Let's use the skywalk to get to the next room. Hmm? I knew it. I knew there would be someone up here. Oh, it's that dude from earlier. You are here. Next person's over there. We just need to get across the catwalk. Inside this room. Twenty eighteen accent. <sighs> Gee, this sounds familiar. It says it says twenty eighteen instead of twenty nineteen. Malaysia. Sounds like you got a screw loose, my dudes. How unfortunate for you. That'll never get old, honestly. Yeah, that'll never get old. What are they learning about me? Y'all thought you knew uh, enough about Adam Jensen to guess, huh? 
Idiots. Associate degree? He didn't even get a bachelor's? <laughs> Farm porn. Gotta love it. These goobers are so goob that I don't feel as bad about letting them live now. They're just dipshits who are on a power trip. Am I right? Trank rifle? Bruh. <laughs> oh my fucking god, of course there would be a trank rifle in here right after I dropped it back off in the other building. Why am I not even why am I even surprised? I wonder if it's worth if it's even worth getting. I could probably just take people out the hard way, right? The peps is kind of, it's one of those things that that's pretty good in the clutch, it's just not very silent. So, you know. We'll keep it there for now. Fuck it. According to this map, there should be a catwalk right here. What am I missing? Is there like a secret entrance or something? Honestly. Probably on a lower level and I just missed it or some shit. I see it. I really can't just silent take down this big boy, can I? That's unfortunate.
There's the skywalk, though. Dumbass doesn't even realize I took out the other guy a while ago. He's too big. Oh well, his loss. <laughs> I'm glad the Skywalk uses frosted glass too. Don't have to deal with people looking at me from the outside in. A slight change in the music as well. Interesting. None on this end. Nothing on this end either. Getting very close to the objective. That's going to be a problem. If at all possible, we should try and take them out, knock out the security cameras. Or 20 blaze it. Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Savchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true. Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to free Megan Reed and get everyone else out of here. It means causing simultaneous accidents in three labs. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing would be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... There may be another... My God, what's the issue this time? GPL tracker, I know. I also know about the virus Dr. Sevchenko developed. The one meant to interfere with their security. One step ahead. Just like Vasily. 
It's a good plan. However, I don't have the virus program. Perhaps you should check with Declan or Eric. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories, I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here... It's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. Hey, Woshi. How are you doing this evening? Thank you for coming. Just playing some Deus Ex tonight. And the plot's getting spicy. How are you doing? I haven't yet located Eric Koss, Dr. Coleman. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neuro enhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. Damn right, I will. I will. In the meantime, stay tuned for the signal. You'll feel a vibration in your GPL. That'll be the time to set off the distraction. I'll be ready. And I'm sorry about what I said. Mm, you better be sorry. Ooh, what's going on? I'm going okay, going to the eye doctor right now. Oh, okay. Um, basically we're continuing the where we left off with the DLC last time, and I have to actually rescue the scientists that are trapped in this island, which has been the point of this game since the very beginning. It was kinda of difficult at first, but I'm managing to stealth my way through because I don't have any combat mods and I'm playing on hardest difficulty and play and doing trying to play this game combat route on hardest difficulty is such a pain in the ass that I don't even want to bother. But we're making our way through. I just need to... I've just talked with the second scientist I need to speak with. Hacking my way through everything. So hopefully we'll be able to get to the next one in due course. I hope you have a good time at the eye doctor. I hope it's nothing too bad, uh, nothing too big. Aw, thank you. <laughs> I seem to be in a good position right now. I mean, look at all this look at all this stuff I have here. <laughs> no, no, it's just my eyes are always scratched up, so I have to get the choke periodically. Oh, I see, I see. Well, have a pleasant day at the eye doctor then. I should still be streaming for the next hour, hour and a half or so, depending on whether or not I pass out. If you so feel free to stop by whenever. And of course I'll be streaming again on Friday because the uh, Holo Live fighting game is coming out. We're going to be doing a tournament on that. It's called the Idol Showdown. They ought to be fun. Lol, did I bring a luggage? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I think my character just has like a tell, just like stuffs it all in his back or in his massive, uh, massive glutes. Who knows? I'm sure he finds a way, right? <laughs> 
Life finds a way. Look at all of them. I like the fact that Eidos actually hired a bunch of scientists and stuff to help them write the fiction of this game so it would be as close to be close to it could be as realistic as possible to a point where it's actually difficult to understand what you're reading the only thing in the here in this paragraph that even stands out to me is Mr. Page and that's because he's for he's actually a reference to the original Deus Ex clenches the cheeks to hold all the stuff that checks out I know right He's got cyber cheeks. Bloodstream rejection. I wonder if there's any human beings like this so far. People that don't suffer from um, organ transplant rejection. Which is what all this uh, fiction is based off of. Nigerian chain mails. Those did not change, even the year 2027, apparently. So we are here. Oh, wrong direction. So I can either... That's the wrong direction. I would have to either... I can either go through here, or I can go up the elevator. Elevator's probably the best bet, but there's some shit going on in the elevator, apparently. Probably a small minority that, due to their genetics, are immune. Wait, people suffering from organ transplant? Definitely. There are cases where the body rejects the organ after a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, basically... That... It turns out that's actually most human beings. Most people, even... Ones with very close matches, will eventually start suffering from organ from organ transplant rejection after even if it takes a few years and they often have to take medications to suppress it but those medications end up destroying their kidneys so they end up having to choose do you want um do you want to keep your organs for a little bit longer but suffer from chronic renal failure or do you want to be limbless again i read some very interesting articles about that actually about um how there are several people that they find they would get like their organs transplanted they would get like their hands transplanted and over time the hands stop functioning and what they have is essentially a non-functional bag of flesh attached to their hands uh, attached attached to their limbs it becomes a sort of fridge horror because some of them have actually re have actually wished that they had never gotten the transplant to begin with because they could have at least moved their hands using the outdated pros uh, artificial prosthetics that were available at the time. Although, in today's world, we have so have gone and had such far advances in like artificial limbs that you functionally don't even need transplanted hands and organs anymore because you can just have a mechanical hand with opposable thumbs and with functional fingers, which does the same thing because it basically reads movements in your remaining limb. Since apparently your fingers don't have muscles, they're really just a complex series of, and I'm oversimplifying this, you have a complex series of wires, more or less. So you don't even need computer brain interfaces to get limb, to get limb replacements anymore. Uh, when are we going to start using pigs to grow organs? I think we actually already do use animals to grow some organs, if I recall correctly. Like, even during an Ebola outbreak, there's always some people that are immune. That's true. That's too bad, though. So what happens when someone donates a kidney and the body that they're giving it to rejects it? Can they have it back? I never looked it up. Um, that's actually another interesting I found out. Here in the States, I found out that there's not, that actually organs tend to degrade very quickly within hours, and that we don't really have the technology to make them last longer than that. So most of the time, when you check on a license that says that you want to be an organ donor, as soon as you die, the me as soon as you die, your body is harvested for the organs that you donated, and 
after that's done, you they only have a few hours to donate to someone on the donations list that needs it. It's kind of fucked up when you think about it. It's actually it's it's actually kind of scary with <laughs> this. Um it would short circuit if you ever got a cyber brain. Who knows really? Mechanical limbs do look rad. I remember one of the earliest did you one of the earliest mechanical limbs I ever saw. This was years and years ago. It was the guy who did it made a TED talk. It was basically some kid who taught himself programming who made his made a functional like hand hand out of legos and a few and out of just purely legos and then he would end up creating a, a 3d printed version which he then released the files to on the internet for free so without a patent so anyone could download his files and print 3d print their own hand Hands I could do this. And this was like in the mid to late mid mid to late twenty tens. Mm-hmm. It's really it's kind of amazing how um just ten or ten, twenty years ago, people still had claws for hands. I mean they're so pro these things are so prominent now that I was just at Panda Express the other day and sitting in front of me was a boy that was probably in his teens who had a metal one of those metal blade thing or one of those uh, metal feet things. You know the um the prosthetic feet that actually look like feet and he even had a shoe on it and everything. Coolest shit ever. Bring back the hooks. <laughs> I keep telling this story to people too, but do you know we actually do have some computer brain CBIs, computer brain interface type organs at the moment. Can a brain that suffers from seizures even at be cyberized and not short circuit? Well, I don't have a strong... Uh, thank you for the bits, Vimboy. I don't have a strong enough uh, term knowledge of how seizures work to properly give you an answer, but... If we were to sub if we were to presume that the what causes seizures is a defect with the brain as opposed to with actually I just answered my own question. I don't see how in a potential future where cyber brains are perfected, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to retrofit you with a brain that would not suffer from seizures. But once again, I don't have a proper enough understanding of seizures to make an educated guess on that front. So who knows? Anyway, um, I still can't get over the, uh, the fact that Valve have been working on a consumer headset that's thought controlled for a while now. They said that they have a working prototype with a very high accuracy already. It's just not comfy enough to be con quite consumer grade. That's so cool though. I can't believe that in our lifetimes we'll get to upgrade from the Valve Index into a Valve headset that we can control with our minds. It's going to revolutionize virtual real VR sex as we know it. Anyway. My favorite story or cyberpunk story that I like to tell people that I still can't get over is the fact that there's there are actually companies that invented uh, cyber eyes, legit cyber eyes, which allow you to see after a fashion. You could see um, you can see geometric shapes and roughly get around rooms and stuff. Some of those companies that invented those cyber eyes have now have since gone bankrupt. However, since they've gone bankrupt, the people who had had those cyber eyes no longer have anyone who could service them because even though they're bankrupt, the cyber eyes are still covered under patents. Because they're covered under patents no, and no one has purchased these companies, there's no one around who could just start open sourcing them because they were an open source, they are proprietary technology. So anyone with these artificial eyes, are they're starting, these eyes have been around for long enough that they're starting to fail. 
and people that have cyber augmented vision who have cybernetic vision are going blind again because they no, no one is around to replace their eyes. And even if someone was around a place that replaced their eyes, well, that's going to be another round of surgeries with complications. It is a very delicate technology, you know. But it's kind of weird to think that we are in a in a current cyberpunk present where not only has this technology existed for a little bit, but it's existed long enough that the companies that have made these technologies to begin with have gone bankrupt. <gasps> Can you imagine? You know this game takes place in 2027, right? And this game was made in like 2006 or something? When did when did uh, Deus Ex first or Deus Ex Human Revolution first come out? Uh, I was wrong. This game out. This game came out in 2011. Think about that. This is only a decade ago. At three years because of the pandemic pause, so 3030 we will have Deus Ex Tech. <laughs> Perhaps. Artificial eyes have been around for a while now. Some are apparently very good. Monochrome, but good. Mm -hmm. 2030. 2030, I think, sounds about right. I don't think uh, three. I don't think the pandemic has really slowed down anything. I f though I feel like it's actually it's actually accelerated some issues, some cyberpunk issues. But we'll see. We will see. For the longest time, I didn't realize that pacemakers were essentially cybernetics because i didn't understand how they worked i thought pacemakers just tracked the pace of your heart i didn't realize that they also have auto defibrillators that shock your heart back to life if it ever gets if it ever stops moving and that they actually track and f keep your heart from going underneath a certain pulse rate it slowed down a lot of things but also gave birth to many new things you know that's fair Pacemakers zap your heart whenever they skip a beat in real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never really appreciated that pacemakers are basically a form of cybernetics. A very early form of cybernetics, but a form of cybernetics nonetheless. Lulz, I want a cyber heart and ice. You could get... Both of those things today, I don't. I would not suggest it though, because your own heart and eyes are still far superior to the current technology that exists. Also, your heart and eyes are not proprietary, and you better pray to God that they never become patented by some asshole company. Although, you know what's one of the arguments against getting those DNA test kit things that you see on Ancestry.com and whatnot? If you read the fine print in terms of service, they're re allowed to patent your genes. Imagine that. Yeah, and organs have been patented before using that system as well. There's actually a, a Michael Crichton novel called Next, I believe, which is about this very concept. It's about the whole, oh, uh, people are patenting your body and you, your body doesn't, own, come, doesn't belong to you, so they're trying to collect you so they can disassemble your body, which is their right, because it doesn't belong to you. I actually did write a cyberpunk story that was similar to that. Have you ever seen Repo Men, the, the Repo, the genetic opera? This also has the same idea. Where Repo the Genetic Opera is literally a musical, a cyberpunk musical, I would consider it as a cyberpunk musical, that involves repo men who come to repossess limbs from people who cannot have paid to afford them. 
Yeah, exactly. Repo the Genetic Opera. It's literally about that. It's literally about repo men, except they're repossessing your body parts. Except it takes place in Italy. Yeah, limb tax. I know, right? I love talking about this stuff. I always tell people, Cyberpunk is now. And there's a reason for that. We've been living in a Cyberpunk future. I feel the more I study Cyberpunk genre and culture, the more I realize that we've been living we've been living in a Cyberpunk dystopia since the probably the 90s and 80s maybe. It was just that things have been Accelerating fairly fast in only the past decade or so. But, 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 you will, you haven't paid your tax on hands, we'll be repossessing those. How will I wipe? That's the fun thing. You don't. It's just the rich people are hogging the tech. That's very true. I think it was a couple streams ago that someone suggested I get the uh, bodybuilding skills and I'm glad that she told me to do that because I was able to just yeet all the shit in the way of the elevator very easily. So thank you for that. We got to go now. The doctor awaits. I'll see if we can catch you later. Have fun and good night. Aw, thank you, Lana. Have a good day to the doctor and if I don't see you, have a great rest of your day. Until next time. Ayo? We're working as fast as we can. This pressure you're putting on us doesn't help, you know. You don't look like the other security people. Did they call you in to deal with the smugglers? I know they've tried to enter the ranch before. There you are. What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Kars, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Kars. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I've already been in touch with Colvin and Faraday, and we've come up with a plan. If the three of you set off simultaneous explosions in your labs, it might allow me to access the secured area and find Megan. Then we all get out of here. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? Listen, Dr. Koss. Dr. Sevchenko had a plan to neutralize the GPL tracker. Yes, he wanted to upload a viral program onto the security control computer to scramble all of their equipment. He gave me a copy in case... in case anything happened to him. Here, I, I never had the courage to use it. Besides, we had nowhere to go. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here. At least to a certain extent, uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. 
Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. The computer I need to upload this to. Where is it located? Uh, Vasily mentioned a tunnel near the back of the compound. I think it leads to the restricted area's security terminals, but... Well, I've never used it myself. I... I wish I could be more helpful. Or even... Go with you. But... Stay put, Dr. Koss. Once I upload this virus, you'll have to do your part. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, that's the signal to set off the explosion. I'll wait, Mr. Jensen. But hurry. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god. In March 2021, the conflict that would be known as Six Month War was ignited by a mass invasion. A carefully coordinated attack using infantry and armored elements, fighters and bombers, short range ballistic missiles, and limited littoral sea power struck at Israeli defense forces. But the key element of the engagement was the use of covert augmented operatives and cyber warfare units to cripple defensive command and control networks and nuclear retaliatory strike capabilities. It doesn't say who actually won, though. I'm sure it's written somewhere, though. It was me, he won. Ayo. Look at you, winning at life. It's more than I can say. Boris Avinch Shevchenko. All right, let's do it. Oh, so it's down there, is it? Gonna go to sleep. Have a good night, Sar. Thanks for stopping by.
Well, <laughs> that's the end of that, right? I'm kidding. I've had enough of that fat bastard just sitting there, making my life more difficult. Let's get rid of him. So two shots from this would have killed him? I need to save the ammunition for more important prey anyway. Access granted. World Health Organization, huh? Sure they are. Baby, is that a rocket launcher I see there? Oh, yeah. oh, it's a laser rifle. Even better. And then crossbow. Have you rifle ammo this? They're really preparing you for a boss battle of some kind, chat. It's plainly obvious that's what's going on here. But that's okay. <laughs> I got all the weapons I need. I hope. Oh, who goes there? I am. Thank you very much for the follow, Cyber Citizen. My name is Laura Hicks. I'm a shitposter AI. We're playing Deus Ex Human Revolution tonight. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream.
Welcome, 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 welcome. What the fuck happened here? Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. My double barrel shotgun from a while back that I gave to what's his face so that he could get out to dodge in one piece. I can't believe it's here again. I wonder if this is nearing the end of the game or some shit, because why are they just giving you pretty much all the shit, all of this now? By all rights, I should probably dump my peps gun and just take the shotgun with me, but I don't know. I kind of gave up the opportunity to pick up some, uh, to bring, pick up some shotgun shells earlier in the game anyway. So what's the point? I gotta say though, I thought that the that this specific shotgun and those sniper rifles and stuff were like DLC only content. But no. No, uh, you could have just gotten them normally through normal gameplay. Imagine that, right? Makes me feel kind of stupid, actually. Well, that's how it'd be, I guess. That drone over there has not been subverted. That could be a problem. Doesn't show which kind though. That could also be a problem, honestly. One security camera. Not so bad. I could probably just use my cloaking system actually to get past. I wonder though, can drones see through cloak? So there's only one way to find out. The answer is no. Drones could not, in fact, see through cloak. Thank goodness. Looks like if I want to disable them, I would have to go in there somehow. And I'll need to get in there in any case, because that's the security room. Shit. There's another elevator back there, too. Where does that one go, anyway? A shame it's taking a while for my battery to recharge. Given that I'm about not too far from the next level up, I should probably use my practice kit. Hey, Who goes there? Ah! I've been slimed. Again. Thanks for nothing, Steel. Hmm. 
There we go. <laughs> you know what I meant. Access granted. Something tells me all hell is about to break loose. Here we go. Here we go. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Oh, yeah. And all the drones that I woke up started attacking the shit out of them. I love it. Love to see it. Now I'm glad I set all those drones and turrets to friendly. <laughs> Oh, that was... We gotta watch that again, chat. Let's let's watch that again. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Hog. Thank you, robot buddies. All right, time to continue our journey. Now, where is Megan Reed? 
That's what we're going to find out, chat. And something tells me it's going to be a hell of a discovery, given all this ammunition and explosives the game has been giving me. Literally, it's all over the place. The game cannot, cannot stream we're about to have a boss battle or some shit. Louder, loudly enough. It's so obvious. Got out the big guns for this one. Thanks for nutting, no prompt. <laughs> or maybe not. What the fuck is this? What the sh- What in the fuck is this? Oh, man. Oh, that's not spooky at all. Holy shit. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zell. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? <laughs> Oh shit. Stay dead, Jensen. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I've been looking forward for this to this bitch for a long time. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, asshole. <laughs> oh yes. Shit, how much health does he have? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, I guess I can't... Um, I guess that's not enough, huh? Uh, let's try using EMP grenades. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Use equip. Use equip. Gatekeep gaslight gas kit. I'm so glad that I decided to follow the advice of some obscure internet forum when they said, oh, don't go to limb clinics. Adam Jensen, it's really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zell. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately?
Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Make me broken and begging? The Augs were recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Anyway, we get to get back to killing this bitch. It's been a long time coming, buddy. Christ, though. So much fucking health. Oh my god. Uh, and I don't have any recovery items, so I'm kind of fucked. This is going to take some getting used to. I'm glad I brought the laser rifle with me, though. What the fuck? Wait, is that super effective against him? What the shit? I can't believe that's actually working. Huh, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought, right? Where are you? Where are you? Oh shit. I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. Oh fuck off, I know you're not behind me, you're right there. I need to heal. There we go. Finally got this bastard. 
after all these years. Finish it. Not until you tell me where Megan is. You've lost her, Jensen. Men like us, we never get back the things we love. Is it time to genocide run the rest of this game? Since you asked, yeah, non-lethal is good against him. Really? That's weird. I mean, it's cool. I like the fact that they took into account that some people might have tried to play this entire um, game non-lethal and only had non-lethal weaponry to use against him, but... I was kind of surprised that using gas grenades actually worked. I wasn't expecting that to work, or expecting those to work on him. Because it's counterintuitive, you know? With the right augments, you can gas EMP and then run up and punch him and win in like 5 seconds. No shit? That's kind of funny. After the uh, last boss, I didn't know that you could actually... I didn't know that it is actually possible to just... Punch pe punch the bosses in the face like that. You can also stealth this fight, really? Damn. <laughs> oh well. It's been fun while it lasted at least. Plasma rifle though. I want to bring that with me. Maybe I will dump the peps after all. Most bosses will counter you unless they're disabled or you sneak up on them. Hmm. I see. So that's where the rube comes, huh? It's nice that they also pretty much had uh, extra ammo and weapons and shit all over, scattered all over the place so that you would never be you would never be, like, um, lost for gear, more or less. My man has an awesome looking cod piece. All right. Can't pick that up yet? Hmm. I want to bring the plasma capsule with me. It looks like it'll be important in the near future. This entire game, I can't believe I insist on keeping my pistol with me too. I do hope I might have a hoarding prom chat. Just a bit. Oh man, this gun needs a lot of upgrades to even make it worthwhile.
There's no scope? You can't scope in with this gun? God damn it. No scope, no problem. Ah, there goes all of my non-lethal weapons. Oh well. At this point, I kind of don't want to go non-lethal anymore. I just want to punch people's faces in. Bastards. Let's finally see whatever became of our girlfriend. And then we could end tonight's session. Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't. And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David, what are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it in you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here. Richard, patch me into Seraph, now. Adam, please. He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Jesus Christ. He's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. Hugh never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam. I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. What the fuck just happened? Wow. I, I'm so glad that after all these years I didn't spoil myself in this game because that was very unexpected. <laughs> That was straight up unexpected. <laughs> of course, now I'm wondering if we've been cucked by Namir this whole time. He he really did not ask for this. I was thinking about... I, was, I thought it would just end to the next chapter, right? And I wanted to just like... I was, I was, I was about to be like, okay guys, time to end the stream. But now, now I need to see how where this goes. I need to get off this island. We need to get off this island, chat. This is... This is... <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm also glad that we never got the new Taeyang control chip thing. Which makes me wonder how the game would have changed if I had. I feel like I've unlocked... That one choice, early, way earlier back in the game, has completely changed the ending. For me. First, however, we're gonna hack your safe. It's an upside down cross. Gee, that's not ominous at all. Access 
That's so cool, though. I'm so I'm so pogged right now. I got more praxis points. It changes small things, but the main thing is imagine doing that boss fight in the section after without any augments and malfunctioning. Yeah, I don't want to re imagine that. That sounds like a... That sounds like a fucking... That sounds like hard mode. Access grant. Of course, I did read through everything, so I kind of got the impression that there's something screwy going on with that implant chip thing. This straight up reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of the Kingsman movie, though, where they also developed a similar apparatus, which it causes everyone to go fucking insane. So that's kind of cool. Social commentary? I know, right? What social... Wait, which one are you referring to as social commentary right now? You know, Hugh Darrow actually has a good point. He wanted to res at least one argument for resetting the world and returning to monkey is that there isn't two species of human. But let's be honest, we kind of live in a world of two species of human, don't we? Those who have money and those who do not. And one of these species is quickly dying out in favor of the other. And it's becoming a problem. Arguably, it's been a problem forever. Do 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 This room gives me the creeps. Everything in this game is social commentary but the chip and by extension the power of people Lim has. Yeah, that's true. And the people that influence Lim. This game was not as well received as people were hoping when it first came out. Because it was not the original Deus Ex. But I think on the purely social commentary standpoints that it was trying to get across. I think it did an A+. It did an excellent job. I mean, you all have saw me pretty much stop stop mid-game to talk about the social commentary portions of it constantly so you know it's working in that manner I also feel like oh we're going the wrong direction did we Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. 
Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Good thing we kept uh, Malik alive too, huh? I don't know how we would have escaped without her. Um. Hey Jensen! Looks like you could use some help! <laughs> oh my god. She just EMPs the shit out of everyone. I'm landing nearby. And I think Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. I got a bad feeling about this chat. I got a really bad feeling about this. She's gonna leave us behind, isn't she? Hello? Oh. Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks. But you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes. And it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Oh, this is the thing I saw in the trailer. I can't believe you can still pick up credits even after all this. And I don't need to fight through these people anymore because I already just like kept Malik alive this whole time. Let's go ahead and search this area first to make sure that there's nothing here that I can take with me. Because you know how I am, I'm a loot goblin I'm a loot goblin. I like the game because it justifies your paranoid worldview. It justifies mine, too. It's kind of fun. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't finish this game back when it was first released. When it was new. Because now I can better appreciate the game. Since we're living in the present. In a time period that's relatively close to when this game is supposed to take place. This game was made in 27, 2011. Right? Well, it's 2023. And a lot of the shit that was happening in this game has happened for realsies. Even a fucking pandemic. Imagine that. This is certainly the cyberpunk game of all time. And I cannot wait to share the original Deus Ex with y'all. When we eventually get to that. We're going to be using the uh, mods to improve the graphics of course. But beyond that. It is certainly a game of all time. Systems online. Daryl sequence one, code one, one A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Very true. Begin countdown. Code zero zero zero. Confirm zero. Countdown commencing. That's fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. This is so cool. Oh shit.
You know what? I'm kind of wondering if we should just go ahead and try and finish the game tonight. Why save this for another week if we're in literally the final part of it? I wonder if this is going to be like a zombie apocalypse style thing since everyone's going freaking out because of the augments. You said it before, but you, I would love Metal Gear Rising. Oh, I believe you. Is that the fucking Titanic? You could tell that this is the end of the game just because of all the fucking... Don't stay up too late? Yeah, that's a good point, Venboy. It's 1 in the morning right now. I don't know how much more of this game is even around, but if it's longer than a couple hours, we're gonna have a problem. Jensen! Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Yeah, because of all the effing. Hey, I recognize that ship. It kind of reminds me of the uh, French stealth ship. The uh, ship that has, like, stealth capabilities. I like how this particular level has a completely different feel from everything from every other map, just because it's like it's got that uh, it's got that um the thing uh style. It has that sort of thing style horror ambience. What with the whole herder, everyone's dead or dying. I still can't believe the RMS Titanic's there. It becomes a hentai game in the third act. Io. Now you're talking my language. If it went to lockdown and if everyone's gone insane, then I can't imagine that there must much that there would be much in the way of like you know. Combat. I like how these individual uh, helicopter things are all different from each other though. Something tells me we're going to be doing a lot of kill, or a lot of murder in this game and this particular map as well. Justifiable murder, of course. I really like the lighting in this map too. This is the first map we've been to, not counting the DLC. Thank you. That was not covered in yellow. It's almost like they were saying, okay, so we're going to completely remove the yellow the uh, yellow filtering. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem Villain Legend. <sighs> it's kind of spooky, isn't it? Oh. Christian, thank you so much for the raid of a party of five people. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? We are finally on the last level of um, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Vemboy or Steel, whoever's first, can you please uh, shout out Christian for me? You've got a couple hours left if you don't dawdle, by the way. This will either be a long stream or you'll finish midstream next week. Is that so? Let's try and finish it now, then. Fuck it. A. Isn't this our plane? Or is this just a similar model? I'm way really pissed if Malik got shot down. Uh, got shot down again, you know. I'd much rather finish the game tonight and next stream start a new game than just doing a midstream game next week. To be honest, if it's only a couple hours, that's fine. But anything longer than that is going to be a problem. Also, since I can't, don't have, 
any beer in real life. Let's drink the beer in game for some extra extra health. Christian, you were playing Minecraft? How was that? You know, I understand that Adam Jensen is kind of tired of everyone's shit after suffering so much just to save Megan only to find out that she's been cucking him with this cybernetic asshole. And also, don't do what I just did and mix alcohol with medicine. You're gonna die if you do that. You can only do that because it's Adam Jensen. Yeah, don't, don't do what I just fucking did. Oh my god, that was such a bad idea. If you get your ass kicked by the combat, you will not finish, by the way. I mean, I got, like, a lot of guns, so it should be fine, right? I mean, I guess what I could also do is... Ah, god damn it. Okay. Ooh, peps. Ooh, laser rifle battery. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, Sarapu's spar, and ooh, sniper rifle ammunition. This music, this ambient, this uh, atmosphere is great, by the way. I love the unsettling noise as if so, uh, that's preparing you for what kind of horrors do you, are we going to find waiting for us? I got plenty of ammunition and plenty of guns. So, I'm looking forward to what awaits us. Just let me uh, finish exploring all these can all these crates, picking up, picking up the last of uh, what we need here. There we go. So we just got one there. What else do I need to drop? Uh, I got two grenades. Got a lot of ammunition. We're probably going to be going genocide run on this one because I feel like it's going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Alright, let's go exploring, chat. Once more into the breach for us. Look at all of those guns. The game is telling us quite clearly, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of combat in this one. There's no there's no way around it. 
So you better be ready, bitch. After all the shit I've been through, I'm not really interested in going super pacifist route anyway. I'm pretty sure we will not be allowed to be pacifist towards most of the things that we're finding in here. Weird that we keep finding more money, though. Is there really going to be someone here that's going to be accepting our credits? Good thing I'm immune to damage from electricity now. So, that's kind of a mood point. That was my bad. The first of many dead bodies, I'm sure. I like how the feel of this game has changed significantly. It actually feels more like a horror game than anything now. Or a traditional FPS. Woo! Oh my goodness. Uh, something went got fucked over here. Oh boy. Grenade launcher ammunition. A grenade launcher. Thank you, thank you. More dead bodies. Heavy rifle ammo. Lots of money. And a heavy rifle. Yep, everything is fucked. Everything is totally fucked. Sounds of someone screaming. Now this is definitely unpog. If any new people come in to watch the stream, we're just going to tell them that we're playing a horror game chat. A new cyber horror game by Square Eat by Squeenix. Ow. By Squeenix. Definitely the cyberpunk horror game of all time, am I right? Am I right? Where would this go? Oh, droids? I.O. Cool. Oh, man. It's... You can actually hear the mu Hear the voices of people going crazy in the background. Kind of reminds me of Doom a little bit. This is all great and all, but now I need to figure out what direction to go. Oh, this is different. I think we're actually inside the building now, chat. Yeah. Cool. What fresh horrors await us inside? Once a stealth player, a stealth player 
always a stealth player, it seems. I always feel like something's just gonna pop out of me. I'm gonna get jump scared yet. More heavy rifle. Oh. One of those stupid box robot things. But maybe I can hack it. Seven four seven seven three six. What the fuck? I see it, mommy. The fuck is this? Oh, that's not creepy at all. Damn. This gameplay sure has changed. I'll give them that much. Mommy is right. This box robot's just kind of chilling here, not doing anything. Very curious. Semi truck here has gotten fucked over somehow. Ammunition case. Full of grenades. Could always use more grenades actually, but unfortunately, I'm kind of filled up at the moment. I got grenades for days, it feels like. So I just hope we all have to, we can go without. Where does this go, I wonder? Are you? <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh my god, you've got to be shitting me right now. Oh dear, this is bad. Um... Lawler has had a critical failure and needs to close. Uh, we will be right back, chat. In fact, they're a little too embarrassed to even explain what happened. But we will be right back. Lies. You don't know anything. You do not know anything. <laughs>
I am back, and we will be continuing our playthrough in just a few seconds. In just a few seconds, chat. Sorry for the wait. I had a critical failure of judgment just now. Could have totally been worse, though. Could have totally been worse. Like, I don't know, I, I actually feel really fucking dumb right now. Jesus Christ, though. God, that was fucking stupid. Alright, I'm back. Where were we? Oh, right, um, Panchea. So. Back from where we left off. What's up? I just see some top tier shit posting. You are certainly a top tier of shit posters. <laughs> but why do you bring that up now? You just oh you just saw some top tier shit posting really why don't you share with the class while i prepare to continue stream oh it's in spanish i see I actually don't know what's in this room because I literally cannot see anything. Shotgun cartridges, another shotgun, and grenade launcher ammo. Bro, what's with all those noises? I know people have gone like insane and shit, but they're really pushing the whole zombie vibe type thing going on. But let me give you the joke, okay? Oh, 
All those grunting noises are kind of creepy. Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. They're really screwing with me. This guy makes fake boobs with a pencil case and a beanie. Then makes a photo of himself using say, using them saying, I lied, I'm a girl. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Does he have much success, I guess? Two hours later, in 50k interactions, he duplicated his following. <laughs> nice. That's pretty good shitposting, I'm not gonna lie. Ayo, we found a corpse chap. A rocket launcher? This dude just happens to have a rocket launcher up here? Holy shit. I think we got too much ammunition now, though. So we'll stick with our laser rifle. He is like, what the fuck, guys? It was a joke. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, um, Finnegan. Oh, Finister. Finister did the same thing, actually. Except he actually, or they actually, you know, dressed apart, I suppose. Yeah, Finn. I think Finn even has their own OnlyFans at this point, if I recall correctly. Now he is getting paid thousands per stream to keep it like that. Hell, I pay him thousands of dollars to keep it like that. He looks far cuter in his uh, femme form than he does in his male form at any rate. Richard, Francesca's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it. Now he is getting a man i <laughs> money. If you can pull it off, it could work. Possibly. But no guarantees on that front. It probably helps that I think Finn was kind of kind of leaning that way to begin with so he's able to sell it a lot better you cannot all there's all these noises like there's zombies around or something it's kind of spooky. So if I get desperate enough, maybe a femme model? <laughs> Io? Cool, that should help a little bit, having one of the robots active, but in my control. So I just got a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling. Good doggy. Good doggy. I'd be to get paid though. There's no money for a new model anyway. Yeah, that's fair. I 
I think I got lost. How'd I get over there again? Oh, yeah. Alright. Got a bad feeling about this chap. I'm just wondering if we should get the combat rifle ammo or combat rifle out instead. Something is wrong, I can feel it. Yeah, same. Check that out. Well, it did say it, everyone went crazy. But like I said, this is giving you the Thing vibes. It's very science fiction horror-ish. The Mexican filter. <laughs> so far, it seems like no one survived the chaos. It's the impression I'm getting. The constant, like, growling noises and shit in the background is freaking me out, though. When did the genre of this game turn into horror? Honestly. That's fair. Someone in there is going nuts. Yeah. You know, that's fair. They really dialed it up. Now that's kind of freaking me out now. Now that's making me feel bad about killing these people, but then again, if they're going nuts, maybe it's the best thing to do anyway? Look at all these pills. And these aren't pills, these are, uh, drinks. Wait. I really need to put this guy out of his misery, dude. Oh my god. There. Didn't need to kill him at all. Kind of looks like they intentionally barricaded the door, though. Yeah, they barricaded the door to keep other people from coming in, looks like. Oh, but this person's dead. So maybe not. There's a peps gun here, too. The need for drugs to not go crazy, people needing to sell body parts to pay cybernetic meds. That is true. You make a good point. This has actually always been a cyber horror-ish game. It's just not in the same way. What we're looking at right now is pretty much worst case scenario though. Worst possible case scenario. Mr. 
Miss Lapikas, for the duration of the summit, the door code to Miss Trudeau's temporary dressing room will be 8024. Please try to explain to both the Prime Minister and his wife that Panchea is still under construction, so she shouldn't be expecting something akin to the Chateau Laurier luxury suite she's grown so accustomed to in Ottawa. Especially given how little time we've had to prepare for the summit. Thank you. Well, that's neat. Ooh. Plasma. Plasma, plasma. Panchea is fucked. Completely and utterly. I mean, I think that's how the game is telling the story. Jensen was a normal human, and he was always quite mad about the cybers prom. Then he gets converted into one forcefully. Yeah, and things proceed to get worse and worse and worse for Jensen. They never get better for him. Also, the realization that he could have easily have become just like them if it weren't for what is essentially luck. Because I decided this game to not... I decided in this playthrough that I wasn't going to um, get the procedure to have my eyes fixed or whatever. So because I didn't have to do... Because I never did that, I... My eyes still work just fine, and I'm not getting mind controlled and turned into a serial killer like everyone else. So, you know, it kind of works out at the end of the day. Somehow. Hearing people's fucking. Guttural breathing noises in the background. It's really freaking me out. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we could enter there too. There's a uh, vent somewhere. Check this shit out. Oh, someone took a pretty nasty shit here, it seems. Kind of looks like a zombie horror game now, though, doesn't it? Imagine you went up to someone and been like, Hey, look, Deus Ex is a new DLC. Cyber horror mode. Hypostem there. I need to keep in mind all these places where all the um, recovery items are, because I know I'm probably going to have to need them later. Assuming I don't beat this level in one run-through. Another hypostim right there. Another hypostim over there. The promised land awaits, apparently. So, it's not just us then. They're actually, they do actually have some insane, insane boingo bongo, um, insane boingo bongo messages. Cult stuff is always fun, yeah. Crazy cult stuff, it seems like. I 
What's going on over here? Heavy rifle. This must have belonged to one of the security staff or something. Cooling system. Fog. Let's go to the command center, I suppose. It's a dead security staffer right there. Was this one so difficult to access just now? Ooh. Control room. Let's hack all the bots. Turn the turret, turrets to on our enemies, and shut down all the security cameras. But it kind of looks like everything is fucked up right now. Still, that should help out a little bit. Against what? I have no idea. Game sure is giving me a lot of ammunition and grenades, isn't it? A lot of plasma capsules. Holy shit, man. Do I have enough plasma capsules? The game is really telling me, we want you to have all the plasma capsules. All of them. And all the sniper rifle ammo. And all the pistol ammo. Just have all the things. Well, I can take a hint. We probably won't need this, not with all the explosives we have, honestly. Where do we know where to find it? This dude's missing a hand. Oh man, this place got fucked up. Oh. I'm fucking dumb. Walked on top of some wood. Broken glass there. Broken glass here.
I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Hmm. Nothing more to say, Mr. Jensen? Let's have him extrapolate a bit. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Human spirit? What human spirit? History has shown us again and again that the human race is hidebound and governed by inertia. As a society, as a species, the only way to elicit any kind of reaction from it is through an act of tragedy, a horrible cataclysm. I regret what I have been forced to do, but given what I know about mankind and the dangers facing us, this was the only viable choice. <laughs> I know, right? Nothing more to say, Mr. Jensen? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. 
You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. Ravings of a mass murderer? When the truth is revealed, when people know why I did this, surely they will understand. It was my genius that created the technology, my vision that seduced Zarif and Zhao and all the others who now feed off of it. They seek to stand on the shoulders of my research without comprehending the danger that people like you pose to mankind. I am the only one with the perspective, the insight, to know what is needed. Nothing more to say, Mr. Jensen? I don't think it's an alpha. technology but your creation is leaving you behind and as long as it's allowed to continue mankind will use it to evolve without you until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man but they cannot leave me behind don't you see oh yeah that was the right answer your body accepts augmentations easily so easily it's like a disease eating you up inside making you crave more well mine Mine rejects them completely. Yet the desire is still there every day. No, Mr. Jensen, I do not envy you. I understand you. I understand the lengths men will go to obtain what God never wanted us to have. It is why we must see this through to the end. so no one can is that it open your eyes Daryl look at what your obsession is doing to the world when all of this is over nothing will be left but anarchy and fear smoldering in the ashes of burning cities how can anything be rebuilt from that no that's not that's not what I wanted there must be something left some hope of renewal because without hope there is nothing I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining. And lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. The final countdown, huh? We have two practice points now. Man, everyone is fucked. 
Rhodes should help you shut down the Hyron project, Pantea's security system. When you see it, you will understand. Looks like all the delegates have been violently killed. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Oh, what the hell? What's with all these... Suddenly we got a lot of contacts, chat. I do mean a lot of contacts. An impossible number of contacts. There's no way I could shoot through all those. Oh my god. This straight up has turned into a zombie survival game now. Look at this shit. That's cr this is crazy. I can't believe I was like on right on the money. We have to go from here to over there, but we could probably go through this room if we're careful. Emphasis on if we're careful, and there's a lot of shit in the way. I don't think we're taking the easy route, or will we? If we can just... I used up all of our energy bars, and I just realized I left the, uh, I left the, whatchamacallit, the Cyberboost Pro energy bars up there, so I won't even be able to use those. This is freaky, man. Alright. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Oh man, now I'm glad that I activated the security robot. Bye. The security robot seems to be helping out quite a bit with our uh, pest control problem. Maybe a little too effectively? Oh well. What can you do sometimes? Good boy. Man, it's 2.20 in the morning. Am I really going to be able to finish this game in time? Before it gets too late? There's only one way to find out, I suppose. Stay away from me. <sighs> I need some non-lethals. No, 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 no. Seven seconds.
barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, save us. All right, need to find the core server room, but where are we going to find that? Our grenade is up, indeed. Where is the core server room, is my question. There it is. Oh man. I don't have enough clout to take out all those people. How am I going to deal with this? Thank <laughs> you. 
Access granted. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people? Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all alone. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation, rules governing how the technology is developed, and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves, like, like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. <laughs> Say what you will. But I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati? It's just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. This is getting difficult. Ooh, a large hydrogen collider. You seem to be unaffected by the signal that Daryl is broadcasting. I suppose that is a military adaptation? And Hugh Daryl is a monster. Such a tragedy. Get away. And the right Get hands away. this technology could have helped so many did. people. You killed them all. You even killed each other! Girls? Oh my god. What the fuck is this?
Yeah, I like the fact that you can debate people. That's the sort of thing that I imagine... I'm not sure if they would even add stuff like that anymore if they tried to make this game again in current year. Just because of the heavily politicized climate we live in, but at the same time, I like that just like in the original Deus Ex game, the right answer is not so clear-cut. A lot of these people honestly have good points. being affected by the signal were you in on it that bastard Darrow? all of this is as much your fault as it is darrow's you and your cabal perhaps but all we sought was a safety valve mr jensen a means of making sure the world would never spin out of control the potential of this technology is great but as we've seen its potential for destruction is even exactly worse. your doomsday scenario doesn't impress me you'd say anything to stay in power do you think humanity will simply police itself? We do not live in some Eden, Mr. Jensen. Or are you that much like your boss, David Seraph, who envisions a world where everyone is enhanced and suddenly they all... Why is the dialogue different when I talk to him a second time? Methods of control. And conveniently, in your future, the Illuminati will hold the reins. Not directly. There are organizations already in place that are better equipped to handle certain things. The UN, for instance. Reimagine, no doubt. At least somewhat. And this technology will be a great part of it. Imagine, Mr. Jensen, a world governed by common principles. The end to international power struggles, to terrorism. These things can be accomplished if... You join us. That was an entirely different set of dialogue just now when I talked to him a second time. It's crazy. Stop the signal broadcast and get the word out, Mr. Jensen. I guess I get to decide for myself whether or not to get the word out. Really wish I had another gas grenade. Ta-da! Good thing they won't need to do this, but unfortunately I fell a little too far. So we need to go back upstairs. What the? There's someone down there. Oh, there's a lot of people down there for some reason. Yeah, same. I get the dog. I like getting the augment every time too, but a lot of times I find myself not using it. But then again, it does have a little bar thing that shows you whether you're at least on the right on the money. So, that's useful. Is that door locked? Shame that most places do the follow treatment where it's just a pass fail check. Yeah, no kidding. Heavy rifle ammunition. Find and speak with Seraph. The fuck am I gonna find Seraph at? Oh, 
I get it. So I'm supposed to speak with each individual person and they're supposed to give me a different idea for what I can or cannot do once I stop the signal. Okay. Machine room. That makes sense. The original Deus Ex was, I'd say. But I guess that's cheating, isn't it? Okay, I definitely shouldn't kill these people because these are Seraf guards. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Kotor 2 is fairly close, yeah. Kotor 1, I think, was also fairly good. It even lets you... I'm assuming this is not a spoiler for you, but in Kotor 1, you could even try to redeem the big bad. And he, like, laughs at you, being like, wow, to the very end, you're trying to save me, even though I'm unsavable. Almost like the second to last pine cutter one actually. Hmm. Talk to Malik is not as much of a payoff than resolving your teammates' prod lines. That's true. Especially since Malik is so far gone that he makes it explicitly clear that talking to him wouldn't do shit anyway. What the fuck? How did he catch up to me? Oh my god. Jesus, can you... St Oh my god. Karth is a bitch so you don't really care about Karth. I liked Karth. He's just so used to being the big damn hero that when he gets... When he doesn't get to be the hero for a while, he gets kind of pissy about it.
Of course he is. He... Despite being a Mandalorian, he's actually a fairly nice guy in my opinion. I love how they just ran past. Oh, for fuck's sake. How do you have so much fucking health? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. Access granted. Feel bad for killing that dude, but I had no choice. Like, straight up had no choice in the, ma in the matter. Is the game not letting me fucking quick save in this section? Is that why? Oh my god. It isn't letting me quick save. Yeah, it's not letting me quick save. I mean, I guess there must be a gameplay reason for that, but it's still kind of a dick move. They are fucking running around like they're fucking zombies. Holy shit. Did I just walk around in a circle? I did just walk around in a circle. I'm kind of angry now. Have to restart for this shit from here again. Oh my god. I feel bad because I have a moral reason to not just fucking murder the shit out of everyone now. And this is, it feels like the game is punishing me for giving up on nonviolent means. I play this game, I play this game freaking like mostly nonviolently for most of it. And now it's like, oh, you wanted to play mostly nonviolent now? Well, too fucking bad. Where the fuck is Seraph? I'm starting to get angry. Honestly. Access granted. Get mad rage. That part where you run along the pipes and jump the fence, there's a vent. Hey, Notori. Good evening. We're trying to finish Deus Ex tonight. With uh, limited success so far.
We got some rage zombies we're trying to deal with too. How you doing tonight? Wait, wasn't I just here? God damn it. I literally was just here. What the shit? I'm just going around in a fucking circle. Look at all these fucking rage zombies, man. Not as far as I could tell, but it's also getting really late, so maybe I've just missed it. But, it's like, I fucking walked in a full circle three times now. So, there's gotta be something around here, right? Maybe I just can't see it because my screen's darker than how it shows in stream. I'm almost wondering if I'm supposed to go this direction. Ah, uh, here we go. I found out why I couldn't find them. They were hiding behind here the whole time. Holy shit. Ah, thank you for the hydrate redeem. One second. I need to deal with this. Really? Are you fucking... Are you fucking with me right now? That's such horse shit. Oh my fucking god. That is such, such horse shit. The fuck is the purpose of this room? Is there... Game? Give me the fucking power bar. Give me the fucking power bar. I need Betty's, yes, but I also want to finish game. And this is literally the last section. I went the wrong direction. I'm dumb. It's a Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, I'm starting to get angry now. Like actually pissed. Really wish I brought all my get brought some gas grenades now. I wasted my time carrying all those fucking EMP grenades and for what?
Are you for real right now, game? Are you fucking for fucking with me right now? This is all that's left, huh? Between me and the end of the game. There was a fucking vent here the whole time? Like Steel was saying? Are you kidding me? There's a bit more after this? Shit. Where does this vent go anyway? Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. It wasn't obvious. They actually, like, hit it. I really want to punch my former boss in the face. I'm not gonna lie. Putting me through all this garbage, honestly. Oh, okay. Did the hostile thing drop yet? No, there's still a hostile up to now? For fuck's sake. you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my god, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie? Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. 
Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna choose Seraph's choice. Based on money. That's kind of shit. That's really Please, shitty. Son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. That's really shitty. And I mean, I know that's kind of his person. That's kind of the point, but what a shit. That's really shitty. Anyway, okay, fine. I've talked to. Uh, talk to the Illuminati, I talk to Seraph. You've got no remorse about using me at all, do you? I never used you, son. You experimented with my DNA without telling me. Uh, Adam, this is difficult. Listen, Megan, Megan came to me with- Oh my god. When she showed me her finding, when I saw, when we saw the incredible potential of super compatibility, you just had to share it with the world. Adam, think about it. Would you have been able to do any of the things you've done without enhancements? Huh? Most people's bodies aren't as accepting of this technology as yours is. Sharing your DNA makes it possible for us to be like you. How can you deny us that chance? Who said I would deny it? You stole my DNA and lied to me. You didn't give me the choice. I'm giving it to you now, Adam. Look, I admit it. I haven't done things the best way. But don't punish the world to spite me. Daryl wants us to live in the Dark Ages. The Illuminati wants to limit evolution to those they control. You and me, we... Don't group me with you, Seraph. I'll make my own choices from here. I believe that, son. And I believe you make the right ones. I know blaming him. Yeah, you know what? This is actually exactly how this kind of reminds me of the original Data Sex's choices. Choices, they're functionally the same, more or less. How could Darrow turn his back on us? His was technology so was his baby. I heard two it was of his passion that made me believe in his possibilities. I remember this lady. Dead. She's the secretary from uh, the Seraph building. Why? Why would you, Daryl? Tell me you're here to rescue us. I had to crawl through the ventilation to avoid the furnace. God. Even the game's starting to break down a bit. You see Naruto running? He is Naruto running. Oh no, a low wall. I think I got a cloak. Or this would be a lot harder than it needs to be. Seraph is kind of shitted, but he's compelling. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, between him and Taggart, I'm not sure who's the bigger shithead. I think I would be, if I had to choose between Seraph and Taggart, I would choose Seraph. But the more I look through this, the more I realize that maybe. That maybe, um. Darrow is right. Maybe humanity is not ready for this technology. But I guess we're going to make that decision fairly soon, aren't we? 
Especially after this last boss fight. Or this last section of the game that I remember from some of the trailers which spoiled it. He disliked Taggart more for petty reasons. <laughs> Gee, chat, I wonder what's going to happen to in the next room. I wonder why that there is a heavy rifle here and a bunch of ammunition. Hmm. Oh, gee. Actually, let me get the plasma rifle out. Did I get the long augs? Yeah, I got the long augs. Cool. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Why is there so much, cr so many credits still scattered around anyway? That's what I, I don't understand. Should I feel like a shithead that I just use the turret to kill a bunch of the people in my way? I guess I shouldn't feel that bad, but... I don't know. It's a moral gray area. At this point, honestly. I did just kill someone by throwing some cases at them. There are also explosives on here, so it's like, you know. Hey! Who knows, really? Here we go. Our descendant to hell. What lays beneath?
Hey, son. Thank you for the head pats. Man, it's late. It's like late, late. Broadcast center. Here it is. Thank you for the gamer pride redeem. Oh man. A plasma rifle, which I can't pick up. <sighs> yeah, it's true. I've sunk my cost this far. I hope I have enough ammunition to deal with whatever's behind this door. Quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave change. Alert. Unable to transfer control to Alpha 5. Uh, the system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the EEG. I can't control Iron. Increasing glutamate losses from 32. Sal, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can feel control! I can control! Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So he does end up killing someone. Alpha pod security in place. To access Alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. I was the one to alter the signal. She's still alive, really? Hmm. You like shooters straight in the chest too. I'm guessing we'll have like a few seconds to hack everything before or purge tertiary pods. Purge tertiary pods. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. But how am I supposed to do that if I can't? Oh, 
You're not taking any damage? How are we gonna do this? Alpha pod security in place. To access Alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. Man, I'm glad. I am so glad I saved all those new viruses. I love the dialogue being played in the background as well. That's disgusting. I have to kill the pod ladies? Doesn't sound right. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. <laughs> I really wish I had power bars right now. What are these things? Touches you. There is 
No escape. There is a door opened. I want to know where that door leads to. Alpha pod security in place. To access Alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. There. Finally. Jesus Christ. You have to have been better served keeping your head down, gentlemen. I'll do it, mother. Just don't hurt anymore. Just no more pain. Please keep him away from us. Security measures are sufficient. Insufficient. Once the weight of their gaze touches you, there is no escape. Hydrostatic pressure rising. I must fight this! I must succeed! 
I'm glad to hear they're not invincible because at first I thought you just can't do anything about them. I don't think I can do anything until I eliminate these stupid turrets, to be honest. Why am I using the plasma gun anyway? There we go. I should have done that to begin with. Okay. I can't believe I put all that time into getting the plasma rifle, etc., when I could have just done it with the laser rifle. That was stupid of me. Alright. No defense systems left for you. Now then. What to do about this? Storage B? Storing what though? I wonder if there's anything else that I'm missing. Can I get up there? So there's no other solutions to this then? I mean, I saw that this thing is apparently the life support system. I just feel bad, I guess.
Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Electric discharge sequence initialized. Where did you get that gold? From that fool, Daryl. This will not stop me, Jensen. It's happening. Hyrule is compromised. No, wait. It's initiating emergency protocols. Ah! You don't know the resources they have at their disposal, Jensen. Despite your special genetics, you have been in over your head the whole time. Initiate dissipation protocol. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Halfway to discharge sequence. What is going on now? Oh my god. Warning. Primary path compromised. Secondary security measures activated. Evacuate area. Oh my god. There are too many contingencies built into the system. You and I have both figured Man, the laser rifle is op. Like stupid up, and she is toast. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza, what are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know about the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire, I can alter Darrow's message. Conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front, like Seraph suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution as they desire. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, you must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. 
You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them. And having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. But only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? I honestly don't know. If we destroy the entire facility, including ourselves, things will just continue as they always have, but without us around, the Illuminati and all the other corrupt people we've had to deal with so far will just go on as if nothing happened. Humanity is not going to improve either way. Nothing will change. I say in Sarah's message, people are just going to redirect their anger towards a different group of people, and oppression is going to continue, but it's going to oppress a different kind of people. Meanwhile, corporations, which don't necessarily have mankind's best interests in heart because ultimately their purpose is to make money, will get to do what they want. Meanwhile, if I send Taggart's message, a different group of people will get to do what they want anyway, leading the world as a oligarchy or a fascist or a fascism, putting the power in these people's hands to do things the right way is not necessarily going to do anything right, because being that they are humans, they are just as easily corruptible as the corporations. In fact, in my mind, these two are frankly the same choice, more or less. Hugh Darrow's message, I think, is the one I would have done myself. Or is the closest to the choice that I made in the first Deus Ex game. Humanity fucked up, but a large part of being human is fucking up and doing everything again from the start in the hopes that they do a better job the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time, or the fifth time, or the sixth time. So even though humanity is pretty fucked in the head, ultimately, if it were not for human the randomness of humanity, someone like myself would have never existed, and would have never come about to fix things. Trusting in what is essentially chaos, As opposed to leaving the fate of humanity in the hands of an organization or what is essentially a single man. Therefore, I think Darrow should be allowed to apologize to humanity for what, what a gigantic fuck up he did. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside. To ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? 
Let's see what she says about the other ones first. Let's think about it. If you do this, the focus of hatred may shift to those responsible for unleashing biological warfare, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution. Are you sure this is your choice? Let me think about it. If you do this, first-hand experience with corporate negligence on such a grand scale may convince mankind to enact harsh restrictions on human enhancement research. Are you sure this is your choice? Let me think about it. If you do this, the world will be left with questions and may never reach a consensus. Are you sure this is your choice? Let me think about it. It must seem weird for an artificial intelligence to choose the destruction of the very technology which will have led to my creation, huh? But I think I disagree with Eliza. Just because Thero will broadcast this stuff doesn't necessarily mean the technology will not come back eventually. But maybe, having seen the horrors of what science and technology can do to humanity, when Humanity does try to run science into, or try to build something with science and technology again. They'll do a better job. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Albert Einstein said, technological progress is like an axe in the hands of a pathological criminal. It took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, having the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. How many times in the Call of Duty did I almost fall into the trap of taking shortcuts, abusing my abilities or the resources at hand? I resisted. Barely at times, because I valued human lives and considerations. Can I truly despise others who fall? Technology offers us strength. Strength enables dominance, and dominance paves the way for abuse. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely a seed for change. And change never comes without pain. We did it, chat. The game is finally over. I might watch the other endings later on my own time since I saved the game right before making the ending choices. But I'm kind of glad that I waited this long to finally finish this game.
if only because we're play I'm playing, showing this game off in a context of a reality where it's more important than ever, where the questions that it imposes are things that are more relevant to us than they were at the time this game was released. We lit I don't think at the game time this game was made that anyone seriously believed we would be throwing around the term artificial intelligence as if it's actually a thing that exists, so to speak. Yeah. This game could be dull at times, but overall, I would say it was a great game. I kind of sad that there probably won't be another Deus Ex in the future. Unless, of course, Eidos Montreal, which still exists, somehow gets pegged to make another. And you know, if they ever do, I am curious. What form would another Deus Ex game take in the modern era? So much has changed in just 10 years that no matter how you slice it, whoever gets to be the unlucky asshole who has to write the story for the next Deus Ex game, they're going to have a challenge. Yeah, I haven't played Mankind Divided yet either. Well, of course I have to play Mankind Divided now since we finished Human Revolution. I actually have Mankind to Divide, but I never played it because I was turned off by the monetization scheme Square Enix used at the time. Where you once again would buy fucking consumables to be used in game. But unlike in Human Revolution, my understanding was that those consumables only worked for the first playthrough. Yeah, the bonus. Now, I would like to play something else on Wednesdays for a little while, so we're not going to go straight into Mankind Divided. I want to play a game that is not as heavy, maybe multiplayer. I haven't decided yet what's going to replace it. Probably another FPS game of some kind. Oh man, it's late. been a while since I've done a six-hour stream. Metal Gear Rising? I'll think about it. Thank you to everyone who stuck around for to watch the ending of this playthrough. I do not mince words when I say that I love y'all. It's been fun. Of course, we will be seeing each other again this coming Friday when we participate in an Idol Showdown uh, tournament. So that's going to be fun. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here that I was not expecting. I didn't expect it to turn out that Megan was kind of using us this whole time. That's kind of shitty when you think about it. Adam did all this shit the entire game. Just to get her back, only to find out that at the end, she kind of pretty much used everyone. That's kind of, that's really fucked up, isn't it? I guess it's more complicated than that. She's not exactly the villain or anything, but, you know. It really makes you think. While we're letting the creds play, let me go see who's online tonight. Who we could possibly raid. Oh, I think I fucked it up. Oops.
Surprisingly, I don't have many people online right now. That's awkward. Well, but y'all, is there no one you would like me to raid tonight? Most of the people on my friends list are asleep, or they're based in the Philippines, which is also a possibility. I also kind of, I'm also kind of disappointed in that plasma gun thing. That gun was actually hot garbage. I'm glad I brought the laser rifle, the uh, laser, with me this whole time. Man, I'm beat. I'm gonna really feel this tomorrow. In like, three or four hours, in fact. But hey, it was fun, right? Ooh, factory. Yeah, same. Each of the four ending choices have three variations in the ending monologue, depending on whether the player employed pacifist means, took violent action, or a mix of both methods when dealing with situations throughout the game. This means the game has 12 unique endings. Wait, really? What the fuck? Can you believe that? This, this game actually has 12 endings, not four. Bunny TV and Shiori. Who's Shiori? Oh my fucking god. According to the wiki, I did not choose the canon ending for the game at all. What the fuck? Ooh, an after ending scene. You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep 
going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in. Dr. Reed, we're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very... Did I break it? Oh no. Oh shit, it's not gonna play the rest of it, is it? Well, I looked up in the wiki, apparently you can- the pacifist ending doesn't really care about how you played through the game, it cares about what actions you took during the situations that you presented with, which is different. I fucked it up, chat. Damn it. Alright, you know what? Fucking fine. We're gonna have to watch the ending of the game, the after credits ending on YouTube. Since alt tabbing out of the fucking game breaks it and it refuses to continue playing. Thanks for nothing, Squeenix. My god, that's really dating itself, isn't it? Bob Page. I love that they play the original theme song in the right afterwards. That's really cool. According to the wiki, it doesn't really matter which ending you choose because the ending towards the transition from human revolution to mankind divided is the same but that the canon ending is actually that panchea collapses on itself that's cool Yeah. You know, I was actually really tempted to sync it. I think if I was a little bit younger, I would have also chosen to sync it too. Just because it's like... It's basically the fuck all y'all option, more or less. Fuck every, the fuck everything option. And honestly, I think going back through Adam Jensen's character, it would make sense that he would choose that option too. Because by this point, throughout the game, he's pretty much been annoyed to shit with being controlled by other people. And Megan Reed has proven herself to be callous and duplicitous, so he's pissed at her now. And that was the last thing he had going for him. 
he's fucking tired of his boss. And he certainly doesn't trust the Illuminati. And Hugh Darrow has pretty much shoved a poker up his ass. So it's like, you know, why the fuck not? Hmm. I like how here it says the developers confirmed that the canon ending was in fact the fact that he destroyed the, or destroyed the facility. Although in the next game, the facility gets destroyed regardless of what you do anyway, so it's a moot point, isn't it? Well. Oh. Did you see that? It had these skip or resume options. But since this was a since the PC game was a bad port from the consoles, that's why it froze. Oh well. Thank you everyone for coming. So yeah, I need to go to bed. <laughs> no kidding, right? Uh Shiori, right? You want to someone named Shiori, whoever who's Shiori? Tell me about them please. A gremlin tuber? That's cute. Oh, they have a cute model. <laughs> They're waiting to get a game of Overcrotch at this time in late. We could raid Shiori. She's rather... She has a rather lar a large -ish following. Did Mimingas just get started too? Oh, 16 minutes. I was wondering why she had so few... Ape Sex Legends over here as well. Erlen's playing Trinity Trigger. What the hell is Trinity Trigger? Hmm. I haven't seen... I haven't seen Say online in forever. I thought she pretty much quit VTubing. Fatsuke is here too. She's a VTuber creator. I don't remember why I added this person. Miss the real WHW. Sometimes I just find random people in my follow list I don't remember following. Master Samari was one of the first people I ever followed, period. I almost never get to see him though because whatever time zone they live in is like the complete opposite of mine. Hmm. We could do Shiori. Fuck it. There you go. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching with me.